Um, I think we need Ms. Kassler, though. Back on record in State versus Brian Stephen Smith, case number PA in 199 01 CR. Mr. Smith is here. Council are all here. The jury, the complete jury is waiting back in the jury room. Council, we distributed some language from, um, it's actually from California jury instruction, pattern jury instruction number 5018 on. Uh, the uh, jury instruction that we talked about yesterday for your consideration. Have you had a chance to look at it? Yep, this is just fine, Judge. Yes, Judge, we don't have an objection to that. Okay, we'll clean it up a little bit because it'll go into the packet, take brackets out, but uh, I will read this language to the jury for the uh, interview is viewed. Anything further? No, Judge. No. Okay, let's bring the jury in.
You'd be seated, everyone. We have our jury back with us. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for your prominence again this morning of the work you've put in so far in the case. We've got everyone else here that we need to have here in order to proceed with the trial in the Brian Smith case. And we, uh, I think we're ready to hear from a new witness from the state. We are, Judge. This is retired Detective Jeff Bell. How to do in there? Remain standing and raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony is going to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Please be seated. State your name. Sorry, your last name. My name is Jeffrey, J E F F R E Y. My last name is Bell, B E L L. Thank you. Whenever you're ready, Counsel. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Can I start by having you introduce yourself to the jury? Tell them who you are, uh, how you spend your days now. Okay, uh, again, heard my name is Jeff Bell. Um, I just flew in last night from Naples, Florida. I retired in May of uh, 21 and moved to uh, Naples, Florida and have been living there since. Um, prior to retirement, did you work for the APD? Yes, I did for 25 years. Okay. And what positions did you hold there? Um, initially, when I was hired in uh, 1996, I was started on patrol like all police officers do. I mainly worked patrol officer working in a swing shift three in the afternoon until 11 in the evening. Um, I eventually um, got on our SWAT team. I did 13 years on the SWAT team, uh, eventually moved into what was called a special assignment unit, which was a, a group of SWAT officers who were probably kind of problem of the day oriented crimes. If something were to happen in an area of town, we'd concentrate on that crime in that area of town. Then I progressed to working for the FBI as a Safe Streets Task Force Officer, additionally for the U.S. Marshals as a Fugitive Task Force Officer. And then I became a Crimes Against Children Detective, uh, then a Adult Sex Crimes Detective, and then eventually Homicide Detective, which is where I retired. And when you were a Homicide Detective, did that um, cover the year 2019? Yes, it did. 2018 as well? Yes. Okay. And I want to start with your involvement in this case. In August, August 17th of 2018, were you asked to help Detective Cordy and Detective Estes investigate a report made by an Alicia Youngblood? Yes, I was. Who was the person you were looking for in that case? We were looking for a Brian Smith. Okay. And did you learn about his vehicle? Yes, we did. We learned that he had a black uh, Ford Ranger. Okay. And based, without telling us what she told you, based on the reports by um, Miss Youngblood, were you looking for that Ford Ranger in certain areas of town? Yes, we were. Um, what areas of town did you look in? Um, specifically in the Spenard area, we did some canvassing for um, video surveillance at several businesses. Okay. And then did that investigation ultimately fizzle out? Yes, it did. I want to fast forward to um, October 1st, 2019. So just a little over a year later, how did you become involved in, in the present case? Um, I was involved in a briefing where the police department had uh, been um, notified by a, a citizen that they had discovered a uh, SD card which with information on it that they believed was a homicide. And so I was part of our homicide unit uh, in which we after receiving the SD card with the videos on it, we all observed the video and watched it ourselves and the investigation began there. Okay, and did that, um, at least photographs from that SD card include the black truck? Yes, it did. I, I recognized uh, what appeared to be a black Ford Ranger in one of the pickup trucks um, and recalled from the previous investigation that we were specifically looking for a black Ford Ranger. Okay, did you also recognize um, a voice you associated with Mr. Smith on that video? Yes, in the 2018 case, we were um, we were told that the the individual, Mr. Smith, had a distinct uh, accent to his voice, and so I recognized that voice also in the in the video as uh, a distinct accent voice. Um, based on that, do you start looking into into essentially Mr. Smith on the first of October? Yes, we do. Okay, um, where did you go? Um, I believe at that time I went to 
the home where we believe that uh, Mr. Smith lived on Staubach Circle, I believe is how you pronounce it, looking for uh, the Black Ford Ranger um, and additionally in to the Marriott hotels to see if we could find the Black Ford Ranger there. Um, on that first day, the um, the first, did you locate Mr. Smith? Did not, no. Okay. On the second, did you learn where he might be? We did. We we learned some information that Mr. Smith uh, may be out of uh, the state of Alaska. Okay. And then come the 2nd of October, now two days into this investigation, were you, did you receive some information from the Alaska Railroad? Yes. Um, on the 2nd, um, I was actually assigned a potential homicide where a uh, body was located at mile 108 and a half of the Seward Highway. I was originally assigned as the case detective of that investigation. Okay. So when you, did you then travel to out to mile 108.5 of the Seward Highway? Yes, I did. Okay, tell the jury what you observed there and kind of what that process was that day. Um, I responded to the mile 108, which was a pull off, one of the many pull offs that you can see views of the of the Turnigan arm there and uh, down a very steep embankment over a guardrail. Um, the Alaska Railroad employees had discovered the skeletal remains of an individual. And at that time, I was able to observe what appeared to be potentially uh, um, hair, some black uh, hair on the embankment um, above where the skeletal remains were. And uh, the remains were actually down almost onto the railroad tracks. And was there a full crime scene team call out at that point? Yes, there was. And what does that mean? Um, that means that our, our, our unit that specifically is trained to photograph, collect evidence, um, drone footage, whatever, whatever it is that they have in their, at their disposal, they'll come out and uh, do a crime scene invest, investigation looking for physical evidence of what may have happened to the, that person. And is evidence then seized? You said they are looking for physical evidence? Correct. Okay. Were you at some point called to seize a garbage bag? Yes, I was. We, uh, we organized it.
search of the area with the search team through the state troopers, which included uh, canines to come out to that area. One of the canines had alerted on a uh, what appeared to be like a black plastic garbage bag, and I seized that garbage bag. So I want to get to how these investigations merge. You've got this investigation involving Brian Smith based on the SD card, and you've got this body out at the at Turnigan Arm. Um, on October 5th, did you learn some additional information? Yes, I'm just coming through this. Yeah. Um, yeah, on, on the 5th is when we were um, notified that the uh, positively identified as Ms. Henry's. Okay. And at that point, do you merge the two cases, the Brian Smith investigation and the Turnigan Arm investigation? Yes, yeah, at that time, the well, sergeant would have closed that investigation and uh, merged it with Ms. Detective Lee's investigation. Okay. Um, just prior to that, had you been doing some research to kind of figure out who Kathleen Joe Henry might be and and how she might be involved? Yes, um, I I was searching through her Facebook um, account to see if I could glean anybody who may have uh, information about her and, and or her whereabouts. And I recognized a couple of uh, some information on there with some names on it where actually people were trying to get a hold of her, and specifically was trying to get a hold of her, hadn't heard from her. And so I was trying to reach out to those people on her Facebook account that could help us uh, identify her and where, where her whereabouts. Okay. And um, had you, prior to her being identified, also contacted hospitals, emergency rooms? Yes, I contacted the Alaska Native Medical Center um, and, and told them that I had, uh, I was doing a missing persons investigation. I provided them with Ms. Henry's name and date of birth, and they indicated to me that the last time she was there, I believe, was uh, um, August 25th, I believe. Okay. So she'd been last seen at the hospital August 25th? That's correct. Okay. And then did you also reach out to, did you um, search the Fairview area? <laughs> yes. Um, one of the areas that we specifically searched was the area around Cars Gamble, 13th and Gamble. Um, area looking for individuals who might know the whereabouts of uh, Miss Henry. I uh, attempted to make contact at a, at a business right across from uh, Cars Gamble, which is uh, frequented by um, many of the people, homeless people down in that area, but it wasn't open, wasn't able to get a hold of anybody at that establishment. Did you also um, reach out to the Department of Corrections? I did. I contacted Sergeant Elmore with the Department of Corrections to see if the Department of Corrections would potentially have dental records of individuals um, and provided Ms. Henry's name. And at that time, he told me he believed that they did have dental records and gave me a contact information for someone who might be able to help me with that. Okay. And then was Detective Lee ultimately um, responsible for figuring out her dental records to get to the medical examiner? Yes. Okay. And then, so all of that, like trying to track down where she might be happens on October 4th, is that right? Yes. Okay, and then October 5th, it sounds like you got the notification about the identification? Correct. Okay, on October 5th, did you do anything else relative to this investigation? Um, let me just look through my... If it'll refresh your recollection, I'm looking at supplement nine, page two of two. Um, so we were identified, we were notified, um, at about, uh, 1830 hours, 630 of the identity of Miss Henry, um, being identified as the, um, remains found out at the mile 108 and a half. Um, later that evening, I dressed in civilian clothes, um, blue jeans and a hoodie and with my hoodie up. And I went over to Mr. Uh, Smith's home, that neighborhood and walked through the cul-de-sac and I approached the garage door, which had windows in it, to look inside his garage to see if the Ford Ranger um, was inside the garage. And I saw that the Ranger was in there and confirmed it through the license plate through the window. Okay. Um, was that a warrant for that Ranger? That is correct. Okay. 
Um, at that point, do the police start drafting a number of search warrants? Yes. Okay. And Detective Jay Baker is going to testify later in the week, but was he tasked with that responsibility? Yes, he was. Okay. And was there a coordinated effort on October 8th um, with the Anchorage Police Department, the troopers, the FBI? Yes, there was uh, a, a lot of agencies assisting with us because of the dynamics of this investigation, obviously learning that Mr. Smith was out of state. Um, we included the FBI to um, do some surveillance on Mr. Smith while he was out of state. We sent several the two detectives from here to uh, Virginia, I believe, to speak with his wife once uh, Mr. Smith landed in Anchorage. That was what was going to kick everything off. We also had a team of detectives at his home to execute a search warrant there. We had people, detectives going to his place of employment to contact people at that time once Mr. Smith was um, contacted at the airport. And that's what initiated all the investigations after that and interviews after that. Okay. And what was your role on October the 8th? I was assigned to assist Detective Lee with the interview and interrogation of Brian Smith. Okay. And Detective Lee was the main case officer? Yes, he was. Is it typical for two of you to go into an interview like this? Yes. Why? Um, well, because one of the things that uh, we have to do in these investigations and interviews is try to build rapport with the individual that we're speaking with and not everybody gets along with everybody. And so we like to have different personalities and different perspectives of uh, law enforcement presence so that if uh, one person isn't picking up on something that needs to be said or asked, the other person hopefully picks up on that and, and asks those questions and takes that lead. When um, Mr. Smith landed, were any things taken off of his person? Yes. So the, when he landed, we'd uh, um, taken his, uh, seized his cell phone and a tablet, I believe, that he had in his possession. Okay. And were those provided to cybercrimes technicians? They were. Yeah, we also had our cybercrimes unit uh, investigators on hand to take possession of those items and immediately execute search warrants on them for evidence. And throughout your interview process, were you getting information from your folks back at APD and cyber crimes? Yes, we were. As they down.
Okay, thank you. Are you married? Yes. Okay, how long have you been married? Uh, five years now. Okay, five years now. All right, who's your wife? And Stephanie Bisler. Okay. She does acting and she's got a music career, so she's kept her last name. That's okay, no, no, no worries. That, that's very common these days, actually. So, um, any children, kids? Yeah. No kids? Okay. Uh, where are you working at right now? I work for Marriott, uh, Spring Hill Street. I mean, okay. sorry, not Spring Hill Street, I've moved there um, with uh, um, the Midtown. Sorry, you got to say it right. Uh, the residents in Midtown. Um, I think that's how you say it. There is but
Which one, Marriott? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is it the one by the IR? It's, it's just behind the BP building. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got to say brought that well, it's the wrong place. So. Sure, yeah, I mean, yeah, probably different different yeah. ones with similar names. Uh, yeah. Okay, how long have you worked at the Maryland? Well, I started at uh, University Lake mm -hmm. um, a year ago, and then two weeks ago I was transferred to this one. To, okay. To, uh, you know, to, to, to mid down. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you just got back from a trip. Uh, you might have asked you where you came from. Oh yes, um, my wife and I went down to DC. She's got. Friends and family around the whole area. Okay. So, um, but I did come back really because I just started this job and I, I couldn't take longer than. Yeah. Okay. Week. Understand. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So, like I said, we have some we have some matters we need to clear up with you, and I just want to. You have any any idea, any thought in your head about what we might want to talk to you today? So. No, my truck was broken into. Okay. And one of my bags had a whole lot of confidential papers in it. Okay. Um, things that I used with my immigration. Okay. And uh, so I was worried about those things getting in the wrong hands, the identity fraud, and all that stuff. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you don't know, you don't recall when that was that it got there. Oh man, it was um. What is today? It's like it's so it's October eighth, and, and that water's for you. We just oh, that water. water. It was like two months ago or something like that. Two months. Ago. You know. Um, oh man, oh, you know what? My, my Cabela's credit card might shed the light because this is expires one, oh, 124. Okay, so I'll, I thought this will be exactly four years after it was. Uh, Where did they use your cards at? Oh, it was. Okay. And um, the, the Tudor of Mowers and Office Depot right next door. Okay. It is, um, I don't know when exactly they broke the window, but they, um, I got a phone call from, from one of the guys at work that said my window is broken. So uh, as I'm down there looking at this, what the heck, the, the messages start coming through on my phone. Mm -hmm. You know, your transaction at Lowe's for 500 and something mm -hmm. dollars has been accepted. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. And then I jumped in and I saw everything gone. And um, uh, as I'm trying to cancel, mm -hmm. um, that said, uh, Office Office Max or whatever, 300 and something's been approved there. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to get through to the police to do the online statement mm -hmm. uh, or to open the thing because I needed, I, I thought I need a police member to be able to cancel things. Mm -hmm. Sure. But uh, yeah, I got panic, I didn't need to. So, okay. Um, but. That was the only damage that they did to the credit card. Okay. And what kind of vehicle that the you know, was broken into? Oh, this is a little Ford Ranger. Okay. I've got yeah. Okay. And is that your vehicle or somebody else's vehicle? Oh, right. Yours. Okay. All right. What did you say they broke the window? How did they how did they get into it? Well, through the the, the, the passenger side. Oh, okay. it's, it's, a, it's a two door. It's got the little flat doors on the back. Okay. And uh, yeah, they broke that window. Okay. And, uh, the truck's a bit of a mess. Uh, I don't know what all that took, but you know, every day I'm finding new things up in. Yeah. My winter jacket I saw now that day, like, that's gone from there, you know. Okay. All right. Yeah. And since you said it was about two months ago, have you gotten any of your property back? No, um, no. No. The, the, the Cabela's who go through Capital One, they finally now a few days ago accepted that the deals it was a fraud thing, it wasn't me buying the stuff. Okay. And they, they released the money. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Good. I've got my money back from, from them. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, what kind of items? You said your credit cards obviously were taken. What else was taken out of the truck? Um, well, that's the thing I don't remember. I had a spare phone that was gone, but I, 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 I it's hard to use that. Um, Papers were on. There was a, a, a briefcase. It was a, like a double uh, laptop briefcase, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where I kept all my papers and stuff. Okay. And uh, that wouldn't have been in the truck if my wife and I never a fight that much. So oh, <laughs> she was complaining about all my stuff in the house. So I, lo I loaded stuff in the truck. Okay. And the like I said, the um, the jacket I, I saw now that the jacket was gone. 
I think one of my old GoPros was inside of there. Okay. I think that's gone. Okay. You think it's gone? I can't, well, I can't find it at that time. So, okay. Yeah. Did you report when you when you made the report? Was that listed on the items taken? You think or? Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it to the, on the police one, but when the insurance, because I, I did the police first and then the insurance mm -hmm. basically phoned me afterwards, like what was going on. Okay. So I did mention to them, but I, I wasn't, I didn't want to push it, just now it's fraud. Yeah. yeah. And then you get in trouble. Okay. Yeah. You know, all right. And I, I'm 99% sure one of my little toolboxes is, is gone. I know I moved things between, you know, the, but um, two toolboxes put into one. Okay. So it might have been the one I threw away. Okay. All right. The, the little GoPro you said that was taken. Um, what's what stands out about? How does that, how does I'm not familiar with GoPros. How do they do they record memory into the camera or do they record on something else or how does that work? Oh yeah, yeah. So the, the little SD card. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, it records on on, on an SD card. Yeah. Okay. And real quick, what kind of phone? You know, what brand the phone? Is? Oh, no. I actually buy and sell things on eBay and stuff like it. I'm trying to make a quick buck on stuff. So. Like iPhone or Android? Oh, yeah, a little, yeah, a little Android. Android. Probably, yeah. Okay. I try to stay away from iPhones. It's too much of a um, I have already, on a few occasions, bought an iPhone and then I'm trying to sell it. And uh, just after you sell it, the person phones back and says, Why did you lock the phone? Mm. And like I didn't block it, then you find out the guy you bought it from. And uh, People, yeah, I think that's what people do. Yeah, they buy a phone on contract, they sell it, mm -hmm. and then they, uh, you, you're nodding like you know it. Don't make the payment. And then, and then yeah, and then they, they claim insurance that it's stolen and then mm -hmm. the phone gets blocked. Yeah, sure. Uh, we, I mean, we see that type of thing all the time. Yeah, yeah. doing what we do. So, okay. All right. Anything else you think might be yeah, we're to talk about that you could think? Any off the top of your head, anything like we might be here to talk about? Uh, no, honestly, I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay. It's a, my, my truck's got lots of loose little things in it all over the place. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Is your truck here? Did you drive to the airport? Did you park it here? No, no, no. It's a home book. I think it's a cab, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll explain. We, like I said, we have some matters we need to clear up. And uh, the thing we need to talk about is reach to APD. Um, and we have, it, I was given that property as a little SD card. Um, uh -huh. And I, I watched that SD card and I looked at it, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Okay, so what can you tell me? Because you mentioned the SD card and the GoPro camera. What can you tell me about that? Well, um, usually everything I record is stuff from my trips when I go out camping. So if you see me making fires and cooking meat and walking in the forest, and um, if it's on a GoPro, there's a good chance it's me trying to take shots or a video of me shooting through things. Um, the, that's why I've got a GoPro. It's got a very high frame rate. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to capture, you know, if you ever look on, on YouTube, you'll see the guy shooting through um, like latex or through bottles or something, and you can see the bullet going through. So shooting like shooting a bullet? Yeah. Oh, okay. So next, we've got, we've got pro property out in Telkeetna, so it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's out there, you know, so okay. it's, it's not like in town. Okay, where I'm talking to your property is like a cabin or um it is on the end of Montana Creek Road. Okay, the road well, Montana Creek Road goes, goes east west mm -hmm. and where it turns north, mm -hmm. there's like a section over there, it's like still very wild and stuff. So okay. we are there. 
Okay, yeah. All right. Um, so like I said, it's about that SD card. I wanted to kind of just get just a refresh of memory here for you. That's there, and that's it right now. Not that. I've seen those. I've got one or two of those. You get those at Walmart. Okay. Is and now is that one like the one you're missing? Because you said you're missing one out of the GoPro. No, well, the, the whole GoPro is gone. Oh, the whole GoPro is gone. Yeah. But was that the type of card that might have been in that in that GoPro when it's gone? No. I've got one of these I've been using for my um, my um, 3D printer. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I've got these green ones. The other ones are all black. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so like I said, this was this was brought to to APD and given to me. Um, and not, like I said, I view I view the images and the videos on that SD card. Yeah. And that's obviously it led. That's how I got to you. That's how I figured out who you are. Okay. Um, and that's what I'm. That's what we need to we need to clear up that that matter what's on that SD card. Okay, what's on the card? Okay, um, you mentioned a black Ford Ranger truck you have. Yeah. Um, I, I observed that black Ford Ranger that you have. What's the plate on your Ford Ranger? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Okay, yeah. Okay, but it's the Ford Ranger that's registered to you and to Stephanie. Yeah. And it's FSL yes, 878s, is yeah. that right? So like I said, that's how I got to you. There's, there's pictures of that truck on that SD card. Okay. Well, it could be, I could have used it for something if it's got my track on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we're going to talk to you about. So, um, let's talk about over the last month, uh, time span of a month or so, um, you work at the Marriott. Mm -hmm. um, how often did you live at Starbucks? Do you live here in Anchorage? How often would you say you stay at a Marriott? Would you spend the night there at a Marriott or rent a room there? Um, well, when we go away, like now we stayed at Marriott, yeah. Okay. In DC? Yeah. Well, let's say here in Anchorage. Oh, um, a few weeks ago, probably a month or two, I had a fight with my wife and I went and stayed at, um, at a Marriott. Okay. That's the one that's behind. Um, Moose's tooth. Okay, yeah, behind the Moose's tooth. Yeah. Okay. And what you said about two weeks ago? Yeah. You and your wife stayed there? No, I stayed there. You stayed there. What did you say about your wife, though? Oh, we had a fight. So. Oh, you had a fight. Okay. Yeah. So, what about what date do you think that was? Okay. I can look on my phone. Okay. Or it'll say, like, you know, how was your stay or whatever. You know? Okay. And how many, how many nights did you rent it? Do you have to, as an employee, do you have to rent the room or how does that work? Oh, no, I just rent the room, yeah. Okay, how many nights did you rent the room for? Mm, probably about two nights, yeah. And when you went to the hotel, what did you do? What was your evening like? Well, I, after a fight with your wife, you usually drink a hell of a lot, so <laughs> um, it does involve quite a bit of alcohol, so. Okay, what did you drink? Uh, probably a mean Jack Daniels. Yeah. Okay. Did you go anywhere? I probably would have driven around a bit, got, and got, got some food and stuff. Okay. Did you meet up with anybody, talk to anybody? Um, I can't remember. I probably would have, yeah. I've, between us, I have been known to sometimes go out and find a, a companion you know okay did you do that you think that particular night i probably did yeah. Yeah. so can you tell me about how that evening went down um well if this is the same evening i met a lady down at the hunger shelter she actually works there and she stayed the night and uh i still got to work late the next morning because i would went and dropped her off back at work again so um i can't remember her name i can't even remember what she looks like now okay 
What time was it that you did drive the homeless shelter? Uh, probably with the bugger. I, I can't tell you. Uh, I really can't tell you. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, it would have been late, but 10 million. Okay. Uh, and from there, where, once you picked her up, where did you guys go? We would have. She said that she knows where we can get some booze. And she got arranged some vodka, which she actually kept hard enough to drink. I'm, I'm sure of that, you know. Mm-hmm. It's very fuzzy. I, I remember he was shouting out the window with vodka or something like that. And uh, then we would have gone back to the hotel. Okay, yeah. Can you describe her the best you can? What she looked like, what she was wearing? Um, short hair, very short hair. Um, immediately, I, I thought she was lesbian. and. Later on, she told me oh, that she doesn't usually go with guys. Mm. Usually, it's girls. So it mm. makes sense, yeah. And the uh, thick makeup. Okay. Okay. Um, and when you got back to the hotel room, what did you guys do? Oh, we had to watch a bit of TV, drank a bit more. Um, and then through the night, maybe done something. Okay. And can you just give a little more detail what you guys did? Well, obviously, gotten a little bit physical, you know, sexually, if you want that word. Okay, you guys had sex. Uh, probably, yeah, there's a good chance. After a few drinks, I don't usually work, you know, so. Okay. Um, okay, so after that, what happened next? Well, work in the morning. Um, this I remember. I woke up and she was in, in the bathroom putting her makeup on, and she spent like an hour or so. And uh, I was in a rush to get back to work, so that was the big thing there. You know? Okay. Um, and I got to work about an hour late because I still went and dropped her off. Okay. Yeah. Right. And you did like we told you today's the eighth. You said this is about two weeks ago. No, 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 no. no. It was longer than two weeks ago. Um, it's more like a month ago. Okay. okay. Um, and since that time, since about a month ago, have you rented a room in Anchorage at all and spent the night there? No. Uh, that's the last time you did. Okay. And you said you she was putting her makeup. Last thing you said she was putting on her makeup, and then did you take her somewhere? Or what happened? Yeah, I went to Top Talk again because she works at the, the homeless shelter. Okay. The, 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 the one that they want to close down. Okay. Yeah. After that, at that, after that night, after you came back to the room, did you and her go anywhere else around Anchorage or anywhere else outside of Anchorage or anywhere that matter? No, I never, I never saw her again. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you speaking about Brother Francis Shelter or something different? The one that goes down. That's just across from, from the prison. Okay. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Um. If you give people your number or something like that, they'll phone you and yeah, weird things. Yeah. yeah. And since then, since that night, um, have you picked up? Because you said you picked up, and and I'm not here. I'm not here investigating, you know, prostitution or something like that. So, um, you can be honest with me. Have you picked up any other girls that are companions, as you put it, since then? No, uh, that's the last time my wife and I had a fight that I had a chance. If she's there, you can't take anybody home, you know, so, okay. yeah. And then after that, you been, you been did you stay at the address of Ross Dollar ever since then? Did yeah. So you went out of town? Yeah. When did you go out of town? We left on the first or the second last week, Monday, Monday night, yeah. Okay, we left. All right. And like I told you, um, I, I viewed everything on the SD card, and I, I did see your truck on there. Um, is there uh, anything else on that SD card that we need to talk about? No, no, no. You can show me the card and see. You can show me what's on there if you want to. Okay. Um, that night, how much alcohol did you say you had to have to drink? Oh, goodness. Well, let's put it this way. For me to actually go out and... Need someone to talk to, you know. 
Um, it's usually a lot. Um, I, I know you probably don't believe this from what I've just said, but I love my wife and whatever. I don't want to jeopardize anything. Uh, of course not. Um, so I've got to really be trying to go and do something stupid, you know. Okay. I, I, I'll probably finish like a bottle of Jack or something. Well, not finish, but like quite a bit, yeah. Okay. And you said a minute ago, and, and just so you know, I, I used to work in the sex, uh, sexual assault unit, so you don't have to be, you don't have to be embarrassed or shy to talk about these things. Okay. But I am going to get, ask you to get pretty specific about what you and her did in the room together. If you could just kind of, just kind of describe how it started and what you guys did. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I don't remember, but if you really want graphic, you should probably. We probably played with each other and should probably have sucked me a little bit. And then there's a good chance we probably tried screwing, if you can put it that way. Mm -hmm. but, um, once again, knowing myself, I would probably have tried and tried and tried and nothing happened. And then in the morning, tried again. Okay. You know, when I was a little bit more sober. Okay. Um, but that's generally this is one of those, yeah. That's generally what would, would have happened. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, and then you said you didn't go anywhere the once you what time did you think it was you got back to the room? Well, what makes me think most places stop selling alcohol is like 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So this would have been past 10 o'clock. So that's why I'm thinking 10 to 11 o'clock. Okay. And after 10 to 11 o'clock, did you go anywhere else after that on that particular night? No. Uh, the whole thing is the rush is to get the girl to the room. You know, you, know, you don't want to still go driving around with it. Mm -hmm. Before she, she changes her mind, you want to get, get to the room. Okay. Yeah. And how many nights did you say you rented that room for? For two nights. Yeah, two nights. Was this on the first night that you had the room or was this on the second? This was the second night. Second night. Yeah. The, because I knew I was checking out and I didn't want her to stay there. Okay. You know, because um, then they'll find her there. Then. Because I, I booked the room through my Marriott got a number, they would have said, hey, um, what's this person doing in your room? You know? And then the work would have found out. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said you stayed there two nights, right? And this was the second night that you're telling us about. Right the second night. Yeah. What What did you do the first night? The first so the first night you stayed there. Tell us about that night. That night, I would have probably just bought and dated some. Okay. Okay. Put it that way. Okay, so that that you didn't have somebody else. You didn't meet another companion. Have somebody oh. else there the first night. No, I would. I would have. I would have, I would have been like just tired from the okay. fight. Getting right. mentally tired. You just want to go home and just. There's a good chance I would have gotten myself some chicken and some a whole lot of beers and you know the only time I'm allowed to actually have KFCs when I'm not real by she, she doesn't like it. You know, so okay. I spoil myself to KFC whenever I'm alone. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I just wanted to show you this picture to see if it would help you kind of refresh um the girl from that night. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. No, just short, 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 short hair. Short hair, okay. Short, short, short hair, no. Okay. All right. Uh, she looks like a drunk. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen this this woman before? No. no. Have you ever had any contact with her at all? No. I have in the last five years that I've been here. Um, probably starting about two years ago, I've probably gone out and picked up a girl or two. So I might have seen her before, but. Not fresh in my mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then you said this her here. No. Doesn't ring about as much about you. Never seen her. No. And I'm gonna pause it right there for just a minute, Detective Bell. Were you um showing her photos uh or showing him photos of Kathleen Joe Henry? Yes. Okay. In those couple of years, how many would you guess? Is, is there a lot, or can you just have oh, a lot. couple on each hand, or how many? Once or twice a year. Okay. Yeah. So, four to six times in the last couple of years. 
Probably like three times. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I mentioned I told you I know that I, how I found you is that you started to run. Is that that's that's my truck. That's your truck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I recognize the rumors and my gray uh, canopy. Okay. Yeah. And then this is kind of a close up of the license plate. Is that look about right to be your plate? I don't remember the plate properly, but that, that if that's from yeah, yeah, this is my truck. Yeah. Okay. I'm the, I'm the only person I know that's got that silver. Okay. Yeah. Do you recall this picture of your truck? Seeing this before? No. That's at night. Usually at night I'm at home. Okay. You said usually at night you're at home? Yeah. What hours do you work at that uh, when you go to work? What's the hours that you work? Um I'm going to pause it one more time to text Bell. The photos of the truck there are those ones that came off of the SD card. Yes, they are. Recently, the last four, three, four months, it's been eight to half past four. Okay. Yeah. Eight a.m. Yeah, eight a.m. Half past four. What do you do for them? Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. You just work at that one specific hotel, or do you have multiple of the hotels? No, just that. Uh, well. well uh, up until for the last year, I've been at University Lake, mm -hmm. and now it's at um, residency. Okay. And just to help me sure of the dates of when you were there, does this look about right for, I mean, is this you here, and then the date? So that ring a bell about when that was, would that be the particular evening you're talking about? What's the second fourth of September? Yeah. So yeah, that's arrived. That'd be, be about right. So what's now? It's the 8th of October. 8th of October, yeah. September. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, a month ago, yeah. Okay. That's about okay, then I just wanted to make sure that's that's right. Okay. Is there anything else? And I'm going to step out here a minute. I did let you take a break, drink some water. Is there anything else about that evening that we haven't talked about that you, that you want me to know about or you think we should talk about? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have some water there for you. Did you want a cup of coffee or anything? Or? No. Okay. We're going to step out for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a couple of questions. When we first started talking, you started talking about having YouTube, YouTube stuff, and I'm not. I don't know what I'm saying is if you if you look on YouTube, oh, uh, you, you'll see that there's there's always guys like testing guns and whatever, and mm -hmm. people shoot through bottles. Oh, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually have quite a bit of YouTube. If you you can actually search me at Brian Smith, Alaska. Mm -hmm. What kind of stuff do you put on your YouTube? Well, my travels around. Uh, I was very lucky. The first. Well, the second job I ever got was at Dow Engineering, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I got in there as a, a tester inspector. Mm -hmm. So they sent me out a lot of villages and stuff. I, I've, I've seen parts of Alaska that tourists would pay a lot of money to see. Yeah. You know? uh, so um, I've got I've video those things so my family and everybody overseas or back in South Africa can see the stuff. Okay. And um, then. Actually, there you'll you'll see my property out well, our property in, in Kalti. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll actually see. I, I think I've got a few up where I'm shooting through bottles and stuff, trying to catch the bullet. You know, you sure. Know, in mid air. Okay. You said South Africa. You're from South Africa. Yeah, originally. Okay. How long have you been in Anchorage or in Alaska? Five years now. Five years. Did you live anywhere in the United States prior to Alaska? No, no I came directly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I ask what brought you to? Well, I got. My wife. Oh, you got married too. So, yeah, um, she's been up here for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Her, her father was in the Coast Guard, so they she was like they started off Boston, they went down to DC. She was at school there for most of school, mm -hmm. so that's all of her friends and family are still down there. Yeah. And uh, then they went to you know she finished school there, and then came up here. Okay. And then her, her dad retired up here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, and then do you actively still put stuff on YouTube or for for <laughs> oh, uh, uh, when, on the internet, I should say. When, when Stephanie um, when Stephanie uh, plays music, mm -hmm. I'll go out and record sometimes. But I, I don't think I've posted anything in a long time. Okay. Yeah. And then the GoPro that you lost, is that did you use that for recording or well, did you do those recordings or did you use something else? Some of the a, a, a GoPro 
basically it records a very wide. So if I'm holding the GoPro here, it'll get both of you and you'll actually look like you're quite far away. So if Stephanie's, well, if, if someone's on a stage, like 30 yards away, they'll be this big on the GoPro picture. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. The GoPro that you lost, did anybody else ever use that other than you or? No. Well, no, no, no. Or does it? Yeah. How long did you have that GoPro? Oh, that thing I would have bought about four years ago. Um, that's when I started my whole little eBay thing, buying broken things, fixing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought three GoPro 4s. And I fixed two of them. The other one was just useless. And I kept the one and the other one I sold. And he covered the cost of all of them and the repairs. So I broke even. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you seemed curious about the what was on you when you were asking me to show you what's on the SD card. I don't have it here to show you exactly what's on there, but I wanted to talk about it. Like I said to you a minute ago, it the images led me to you. There's images on there that led me to you and for mobile reasons. The truck. Um, like I said, I knew that was your truck. You're saying that's your truck in the photographs. Um, the, there's pictures of the Marriott. There's pictures of the Marriott, the, the hotel room on that, on the GoPro, or excuse me, on that SD card. That, then that's how I knew it was that Marriott. It was the Midtown Marriott. Okay. Um, and um, and the pictures, um, I don't know, you probably know about this. You, you, I think you did the technology and stuff. Okay. Photographs, they have a, a time and date stamp. So the photographs are time and date stamp. So they basically, the photographs time and date stamp matched at the time that you were at that, at that hotel room. Okay. Um, so that's how this SD card has led me to you. Okay. Um, and like I said, there's a number of images on there and there's a number of videos on there. And I brought some of the pictures to kind of go over with you about, um, yeah, about that. So um, this was one of the images on there. Part of it is kind of cut down a little bit, but um, can you tell me what's in that photo? There's somebody's feet. Okay. Yeah. Whose feet are those? I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at you. See, I mean, it looks looks like the shoes you're wearing right now. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. Is it safe to say those are your feet in that picture? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm not the only person that's got shoes like this. Okay. I did recently buy these. I can't tell you when. Okay. You can't tell me when. How yeah, long have you had them? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I don't know. Where'd you buy them? These I would have got at. Um, Meyer. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I just want to show you some other images here. That and, and like I said, I've, I've watched the videos and the images on there, and I've watched them multiple times, and and that's why we're here. That's how I knew to talk to you. So um, some of the other images on there. Um, okay. Okay. What can you tell me about these photos? This looks like someone that's really been beaten up a bit. Okay. And these are these are images. These are these are images. But there's also videos of this person. Yeah. And another person in the room as well. And that's what I'm. That's why we're here to talk to you about. How many people in the room? At least two. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So we need to address this. We need to we need to clear this up. That's just man. You think I hit this girl? Well, like I said, there's video, there's videos of it. There's video of it, there's audio of it, there's a voice that's I've been talking to you now for almost 30, 40 minutes. And I know it was your voice I could hear in the video. Okay. And if you'd like to hear some of that, I can refresh your memory with it. The same pictures are on the SD card with your truck that you said was your truck. Yeah, these are all on the same on the same as your truck. Here, so. But what's happening with this? What's happening is on this video, on these images, 
the person that's recording it is holding the recorder and is standing basically above this girl and, and strangling her. Yeah. And so we, we need to talk about this. We need to get ahead of this, Mr. Smith. I, I don't want to ask Steve, but I don't remember anything. I don't remember Okay. But this occurred, and like I said, the photos are timestamped. This occurred in that room, room 323, mm -hmm. 323, on September 4th, early mornings, yeah. at the time that you were at the hotel. I, well, I, I don't, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not denying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you're blind, but I, I don't remember anything like this. Has anything, has anything like that ever happened to you in the past then? Have you ever, when you drank or anything like that, has anything ever happened in the past where you drank and you forgot what you did? Long time ago, I, I had, I was told it was sugar, sugar blackouts. So it wasn't alcohol? No, well, the, um, both times, this is long time ago, um, they had a long, stressful day at work, so your apparently your sugar goes low. Then you have a few drinks, like a beer or two, and then that artificially brings it up. And then you have a stressful situation, and that burns up the um, the adrenaline or whatever, and then that knocks you down. And then that's when you go into a blank. I once back in South Africa, I remember I got I, after work, I had a little fire, made some some meat, had some beers. I remember driving home, the sun was going down, and the next thing I woke up and I was about 30 miles other side of town facing this way, and the bottom of my car was all wrecked, and I didn't remember anything about my day. And it twice within a month, and when I spoke to friends, or I spoke to people about that, um, one guy said that that had happened to somebody he knows. You got this like sugar, like this, almost like a sugar cone or something stupid. Like I don't, I don't know the technical details, but um, yeah, it's usually when you your your your, your insulin's low or your sugar's low. Okay, yeah. So what you're saying is definitely you talking on the recording on the audio there so you, that you don't recall that. That, that that's my that sounds like my voice. I've got a unique voice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's, it's English mixed with the the, the Dutch. Mm -hmm. You and said so you're talking in the and, and like I said, there's about 12 of these videos, and I've watched every single one of them multiple times, unfortunately. And you talking, you know what you're doing in those videos. I mean, you're talking about you're describing what's going on in those videos. And so Mr. Smith is happening. And like I said, we need we need to talk, we need to get ahead of this because this is pretty big here. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Don't remember this. Is this the same girl? Yeah, that is. I, I do not remember anything because I, I would remember something like this. Not that. Um, so then I just have more photos and then more of the images that were on the phone. And this one's out in um, the parking lot, your truck again. Do you recall that? Who would record stuff like this? That looks like a Marriott card. That looks like my truck parked over there. Yes. Do not remember anything like this. Honestly. Where is this girl now? I don't know. She's not the girl I picked up. I can tell you now. She's not the one I picked up. The one I picked up was short, short hair. And I dropped. Um, when I dropped her off, several people waved at her and greeted her. So she's known down there. You know, if if we can go down there and I can see the people working there, I can tell you, I can point her probably out here. You know, okay. But this is not the girl I picked up. Okay, but that's definitely your voice on his audio. And I have no doubt about it. Like I said, I mean, your shoes are in the picture, your truck's in the picture, a Marriott cart, cart as you pointed out, is in the picture. And then I, I can also point to this to you. This is the desk file. And the fourth one down, the name of that file is. 
Homicide Marriott Hotel Midtown Anchorage. And this was modified on September 24th, 20 days later. I did not do that. Well, I would not make the call again. I know I can tell you if it says Android, it's been in an Android phone. I I wouldn't buy it. Why would not? I didn't do that. Okay. Um, you, you said, but, you know, I'm sorry, go ahead. If I had to take videos of this, I would. What did you use? I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, I don't know. So you're saying you didn't label the videos with that? Yeah. Okay. What kind of phone do you have? I got a uh, Galaxy Note 5. Okay. How long have you had that phone? About a year. Okay. Yeah. And is that phone linked to the number you gave me a minute ago, 205? Yeah. Okay. So you've had that phone more than a year, or that number? How long have you had that number? Oh, I had that number about four years. Yeah. Okay. All right. So part of the way this investigation has gone so far is that we've had we got that number based on records, state records. Um, that you've given it for many different reasons. We linked that number to you, yeah. and I obtained the records from the AT and T uh, via search warrant. And what that entails is is basically the way your cell phone works. And you probably know this is when you, as you go around town, your cell phone pings off of towers that are all over Anchorage, and it shows us basically a historically of where you've been. Um, okay. So is there a reason why? That we would have we would have seen your picture, or so would it be consistent that your phone have showed to be at that hotel that night? Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 So I just want to go for over a few more images with you. This is the uh, the data back from that cell tower. Uh, so you can look right there. So that's your number right there. This is from AT and T. Yeah. Um, so this is where you stayed that night. Okay. Yeah. Same location. So yeah. the address of the hotel is right over here. And so your phone basically is, is basically tracked anytime you drive around through a tower, and there's towers all over Anchorage. And going through your phone that evening, consistent with the times on those photo stamps, on those photo cards, on the 6th of September, we track your phone out to this location on the Seward Highway out by Indian Valley. So what can you tell me about that? You can know that. I don't know. And this this was two days later after what you're saying is a, a sugar a low sugar and so that you don't remember this is two days yeah later. yeah the, the sugar things it's like when you wake up the next day it's fine mm -hmm. I don't remember this okay well it was your phone the 205 yeah. number it was your vehicle your truck um, there's cameras out on the highway at the, the way station so there's no doubt about it that Inbound you were out there oh. no doubt about it that you were out there oh God I don't remember anything else really I'm sorry. I think you do remember it, Mr. Smith. And we need it. And like I said, we need to talk about it because right now this this right here is a small portion of this investigation. But this is just a small part of a very large investigation. And we're talking to people, we're talking to your wife. Okay. We may be spoken to her. We're talking to her right now. Right now. Okay, and like I said, this is this is, I mean, this is gonna hit the news, and this might be your one chance to talk to to, to give your side of it, to give your story. And that's why I'm there to talk to you today. I didn't have to come in and talk to you, I could have just had to take you. But I wanted to give you that opportunity to explain this because it's we got the evidence. We know you were out there. Your phone shows you were out there. It still wants to try it. Yeah. I want to ask you to kind of shift gears a little bit. Alicia Youngblood, can we talk about her for a little bit? Okay. So can you, what can you tell me about Alicia? Uh, don't tell my wife about it. But he said last year I helped her. Um, she used to work with me, and um, she left where I was working, and I left. And then she wanted to continue in the career, and I helped her study to get up to building his well, the, 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 some of the inspection stuff. I did. I helped train her on that stuff, and we had a small little affair. So, um, but she she went back to Texas 
in the last year. And that was good. It was like over, done, you know. Um, that was a part of my life. I wanted to forget. Okay. So she's a very nice person. Um, we all got our problems, but, uh, you know, she came here to you know, get away from problems she had. You know, so once all that was done, she went back again. Okay. Yeah. What would you and Alicia talk about? Did you guys have conversations, right, on like messengers, chatting, stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. What would you guys talk about? Usually alcohol in <laughs> Texas. She loves Texas and she's explained to me that it's a very nice place. Yeah. Okay. And if you keep, keep in mind that we, like I said, we got, I've got your phone records, search warrants, and chat stuff. So I've seen, I've seen the stuff you've chatted about. This is the stuff you and Alicia talked about. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Okay. Alicia and I did do some fantasy stuff. She, she liked it to be slapped a little bit and things like that. Um, she she had like a little rape fantasy kind of thing. Uh, she told me when she was a kid she was raped a few times, you know, and that's why I think she's doing it now. Yeah. So I would sometimes tell her I'm going to rape her and do this and do that. And it, it, it turned her on. Okay. Yeah. Whose idea was that when that came up? I picked it up from her side. I'm, I'm, I'm usually quite conservative about sex. And uh, then she'd ask me to slap her, over, you know. And uh, we'd make up, we actually made up fantasies almost like this, you know, mm -hmm. you know, kill somebody here, yeah, you know, and rape them and all that stuff. We've, 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 Did you guys have talk about that on the, on the... Yeah, we know, we fantasize, you know, it's, it's fantasy stuff that. And, uh, yeah. How long did you guys have a relationship for? We started chatting the uh, November, December of 2017. And it was about March, April that things started getting serious. We were just friends over there. Um, I basically used it as a place to go have a drink. You know, I'd go buy, we'd buy these mics and I'd buy two, get one for her, one for me, then I could sit there and have a drink um, and go home. And then it developed into something a bit more. And um, she left August, about this time, 2018, she left, yeah. We, we talked to Alicia and, and we, we saw, and like I said, we have your phone number, so we know the stuff that you guys send back and forth and the videos you would send and stuff like that. And so you have to understand that. And that's why I don't believe that you don't remember about these things um, because it's it, it very, it very similar to the stuff that you would talk about with her and send to her. Um, and that's that's why I'm not believe. I, I appreciate your honesty about the truck and going to take the body out there. I believe you're honest with me about that. But I don't believe that about you not remembering stuff okay and and that's what we need to figure out because i just i just don't believe that you don't you don't remember that okay okay and so that you, you guys see what i'm coming from that plus the, the stuff you all you discussed with alicia but that's where there's a kind of a, a hold up i haven't spoken to alicia in a long time but every now and then we'll say hey how are you and i'm, I'm fine and when's the last time you messaged her or talked to her um a month ago so if it is I can show you on my phone. Okay. Um, and it's like a one sentence thing, basically, a one word thing, you know. I'll send her a picture of the snow or whatever, you know. This is what you're missing or something. Yeah. Okay. So you, I, I just, like I said, I feel like you do, I do, you do remember more about this. And like, and just like I said a minute ago, we, it's come to kind of something you need to get ahead of, we need to talk about. Because it is a big deal. This is a big thing. I mean, you looked it up on the news and you saw the, the news stories. So you realize this is a big thing. Um, well, I, I saw the the, um, the day they found. The, mm -hmm. I saw that. I'm like, oh, okay. And I've actually been meaning to tonight. I was, I was hoping to go and look and see what's happened. Is any mm -hmm. any news? What made you search that article that day? I, don't know, I just I just keep in touch with what's going on in Anchorage. Oh, you know, it's my job now. I need to 
stay in touch. You know, events happening. You know, we're going to be busy this weekend because there's a music function or whatever. You know, that kind of stuff. So I stay in touch with what's going on in the news. Okay. Is it possible? Is it possible that maybe because you said there was always those fantasies that you and Alicia would talk about? Mm -hmm. um, and I think, and what I what I think happened here is I think that maybe you were possibly having one of those fantasies, and then, and then you were drinking. And maybe it just got a little bit out of hand with, with that. Does that sound about right? But that even that's that's hectic. That a fantasy turning into something like that turning into real. That's going too far. I know I might not be the most stable person. You know, I drink a bit, I swear a bit. You know, but taking a fantasy and turning into real, uh, it's. It's going too far. Okay. Some of the other conversations you had with Alicia was talking about other other bodies that you might know about that you might have had a part of. Yeah, well, that, yeah. This is so convenient, uh, so inconvenient about that with me and her. You know, we, we would make up stories and just, just about things we've done. You know, and you try and outdo the next one. You know, about shooting people and poisoning people and doing you know sort of stuff like that it's um that, that, that was just sick stuff with us you know um the, the, the one that i actually wrote to a whole thing where i said you know i declare that i will one day sneak into your house and grab you and tie you up and pour vodka down your throat and screw you till your brains pop out or something you know like, like, like that kind of thing you know we we, we, we liked it but it was a thing with us so um you told her you killed somebody yeah yeah well the, 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 she said to this once that she thinks she killed someone so i said well cool i, I actually have killed somebody yes you know and it's always like it's something you can't prove but it's like um but so you, you know, like, like, like the nerd that's always got the girlfriend, the beautiful model girlfriend in another town. He claims to have her. He's got a picture of her, but you, you can't prove it because you can't bring her here. So the same thing, you know. I would like make up, you know, be in other side of the town. I've got a, I killed somebody there, but I, you know, I can't prove it. It wasn't on the news. I like, you know, that, that kind of stuff. So we, yeah. We spoke about a lot of weird stuff. Um, yeah, the, the, this was just part of it. You know, making up stories like this was just a, just a part of it. Yeah. And like I said, we're we're gonna we're talking to Alicia right now. Mm -hmm. What is she gonna tell us about this evening? I have not spoken to. So you said this happened now about a month ago. I, I haven't spoken to Alicia in a long time. You didn't tell your wife you'd find the body in the back of your truck? And no, my wife would kill me. Um, my wife used to work for Homeland Security. You know, it'll destroy her. That's why it'll destroy my wife if anything like this comes out. And she doesn't know anything about your no. fantasy prostitute. She a... suspects that I've probably had a girlfriend or two. Um, we've been having a bit of issues for some time now. Um, so she suspects that I might have another girlfriend. I don't think she ever suspected Alicia because Alicia was just like a visit and whatever. It, it wasn't a, yeah. But yeah, Alicia and I used to fantasize about stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, um, you know, she, she liked it if I choked her, you know. And I put my, my fingers down her neck like that until she like went funny and she enjoyed that that's what it was you know okay is it possible that like on this evening you would those some of those fantasies were coming out because i mean that's exactly what she did on the video that's what she did to this girl except that she wasn't she wasn't enjoying it no no, no. and you were talking to her i mean I know, that, that's my point but uh, but you were talking that's, to her clearly at we're talking right now and pointing out things and, and, and laughing and saying things and 
Mm -hmm. you, were, you, were, you were aware of what was going on while you were doing this. Okay. Nobody, when nobody's going to believe, who do you think is going to believe you when you say, I don't remember this happening? Nobody's going to remember that. I know. I know. That's what you say. This is your, this you, is you get to write this. You get to, you get to explain this. There's an explanation for it. Right. And you're, I mean, something happened that night with you, whether it was a fantasy that you were carrying out that went too far, but something happened and you remember it. But the video shows you doing it. Yeah. So it doesn't show my face. So you can't deny it. It doesn't show your face. It shows, it, but it's your voice and your hands that, and your body. Like you can see your body. And yeah. some moles on your arm yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, it's, there's no doubt about it that it's you. You know, it's you. You said it's you. You said that's that, your truck. That's, that's your voice. My truck is my voice. So yeah. you can't use that. Yeah. So you can't say maybe it's not because we know it's you. We're not only part of the week. Yeah. We have to figure out what happened, which in this case, we are 100% absolutely sure is what, what happened because we know already. Yeah. But we also have to figure out why it happened. And why it happened, I don't know, is not a reason why it happened. There is a reason why it happened. And if you add up talking to Alicia, going through your phone and your Googles and your and your accounts and everything, we're going to see some stuff that's going to lead us to, that's going to be very similar to this. Is that right? What do you mean? Similar to, see, we're going to see videos of other women, not necessarily by you, but we're going to see stuff like this. That you've watched before that you view kind of snuff films as you would when we're getting beat up when we're getting choked we're going to see that kind of stuff on your on your stuff that we're searching correct um no i, I like a bit of porn but i actually don't like stuff too much it's i don't like blood and gore yeah so so what happened for this to get to this point, there's there's an there's an explanation for it. I I I'm, I'm serious. I did not I did not remember this. I don't remember this face. I don't remember. That's my truck. I did, that's my truck. It's my voice. That looks like my shoes. It's I wear jeans usually. Uh, it looks like jeans in the picture. I honestly I did not. I've got a blank on. If that's me, I've got a total blank. Something's blocking, blocking us out of my mind. So, when you went out there and you dumped the body, which you say you did, yeah, did you take any photographs of out there while you're out there? I don't remember. So you're admitting that, that you were at the hotel. That's your truck. That's your voice. And you admit that you took the body out there and dumped the body, right? So, why would there be photographs of her in the back of your truck at the dump site, which you admit to doing? Oh, on the same SD card, listen to me. Okay. On the same SD card that has all these photos on it and videos of you killing her. So, tell me how a body can be found in the back of your truck randomly while you're at work. Because you want us to believe somebody else put that body in there. And and then you just happen to drive it out there. And there's photographs on the same SD card. On the same SD card of this woman in the back of your truck with the sheets that are on that card. September 6th, two days later, like you said, that's the date stamp on the photo. It's a little small, but you can read it there. Two days later, when you were aware of what was going on. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know. And like you said, like you said multiple times, this might be the one chance you get to talk about this and to explain it. And I don't know is not going to cut it. I know, I know. I, I, I'm, I can imagine your frustration here, yeah, but it's I, not about frustration. It's just about giving me that opportunity not to. I feel like you want this to be. He, he admits that he took the body out there and that he dumped it out there, but he has no recollection of anything that happened at the hotel where he admitted he was. Where he is, his truck was, where he pointed it out, it was where his voice is on there, calling somebody a bitch and killing somebody. And so, you wanted the story to be you blanked that portion of this event out. If you hypnotize me now, I can tell you, uh, you'll probably you'll see. I'll say I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm please. I, I, I don't. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I cannot remember this. I cannot remember this. See, we're both. We, <laughs> this. I don't remember taking this photos on the back of the truck. The, the, the time stamps I know about this is I've got an IT background. Mm -hmm. I know, I know exactly, exactly. I know exactly. Uh, and you, you can't really even fool that. Mm -hmm. uh, can be changed, can be updated. If those come from my phone, then I pick them. Uh, but I. <sighs> and we can tell that this is something that's going to be hard for you to talk about. But we can tell you that you're not telling the truth about remembering this event. Right. And it's because of it's because you know what happened is so horrific that it's going to be difficult to talk about. But we have to there, there needs to be a why. I think that you, I think the UO everybody a why. I mean, as horrific as this is going to be for your wife, what's what what was going on? Is this something that was that you were fantasizing about and it went too far? Because you're talking to her, you're telling her what you're doing to her. Yeah, it's an ugly video. It doesn't look good for you. So we, there might be a I, good explanation I, for it. I'm believing you. Yeah, uh, I honestly, I, don't, I do not remember this. I do not, I do not really. I mean, I think you got after this thing and you panicked. That's why it took two days for you to figure out what to do. You didn't know what to do. With her. Well, I think well, when I saw the in the back of my truck, I, I panicked. Yes, I, I, I didn't know what the hell. You know, I'm, just, I'm sitting at work, I can't do anything. I can't, you know, and there's stuff dripping out the back of the truck. Like, what, what the hell, you know? Um, but you knew you had to get rid of her at that point. Yeah. And I, I didn't know where to go, you know. I was scared to get all the police. They're gonna say, "Oh, you did," you know. Well, you did. Yeah. All right. You're on video doing it. There's photographs. Of well, I, you, yeah. So, why? What happened? What? I, I, because I, you're. I mean, I because you were angry at your wife. Pain went out. Uh, I do get very angry with her, um, but sometimes she's very frustrating, but not. That angry, not that angry. Never, 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 never. You mentioned sometimes having troubles sexually, and that that night it might have been an issue between the two of you. Is that possibly that could have caused it? You know, you guys are you, know, you guys are hot in the moment. You pick her up for this reason, and then you're not able to, to perform, and that can be pretty frustrating. I can understand. Did she do um, something to upset you? Mm. This girl. I don't remember this girl. I'm not lying to you. I don't remember. Before the next morning, I don't remember. I do not remember. So the next morning? Yeah, when I found her. So you found her the next morning? Yeah. Now, how, how long was she in the back of your truck? What does it work that day that I found her? Okay. The, 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 the next day. So what day did you find her? When you, when you, when you took her out there to dump her, was, did you find her two days before that? It, 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 yes. Okay, so she but, was in your, in your, it yeah, took two days. Yeah. The fourth in the morning. On the because it's six, this is the six, yeah. So, yeah, the fourth. So, you, you found it, and you were at your you were at the hotel where you work when you found her, yeah. Okay, what did you do with her between the fourth morning and the sixth at one o'clock in the morning? I, I left her in touch, I left it like that. Did you leave home? Okay. Yes, parked in the garage. Uh, oh, I'll block out something with, with stuff leaking out of your truck. Well, it, it, it had stopped, you know, there, there was a little bit that came out. Um, but I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I, um, you didn't know what to do because you just killed somebody by accidentally on purpose. Whatever your whatever your motive was when you were role playing, when you were fantasizing, and it went too far, and you couldn't reverse it, and you didn't know what to do. And so, if two days later you finally said, "I got it's going to start smelling," so eventually you got to get it out of your truck. But what we need to get to is. The fantasy, whatever was happening in your mind, to get to the point where you killed this person. I don't know. I don't know why. If I did, I don't know why. 
I don't, I don't, I do not know his best. It's my voice. I'm not blind. I'm not denying that. That that is, that is my voice. I've got a unique voice. So you did do it. We can get past the issue. Yeah. There's, 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 a, there's video been. evidence of you doing it. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember. I, I do not. I, honestly, I do not remember. I don't, I don't remember this. I do not remember this. On these audio, on the videos, on several of them. Yeah. In my movies, sadly, everybody dies. Bitch, what are my followers going to think of you? People need to know when they're being serial killed. These are things you're saying to her while you're doing that. Well, how would I say that? that, that that's that's why we're to say things like that. Uh, no. Yeah, in the video, you're telling her that as you're strangling her, as you're stepping your foot onto her throat. As you're punching her in the vagina as hard as you can. And kicking her in the vagina as hard as you Poking can. Poking her in the eye and laughing about it. I would not do that to her. And play with her nipples to an ACDC. I mean, you're, you're, there's, there's so many things in this, in this video that are not unmistakably you and your voice doing it. And so what kind of fantasy? It looks like some type of sexual fantasy or you're... You have some type of a sexual urge that's not being met or something, and you're taking it out on her. You know, that's the reason why it happened. We need to know. If that's an explanation, that would, we need that to know. That would explain it. I don't remember. I don't know. Is not. Nobody's going to believe that. We've heard all. We've heard all kinds of explanations for things. You're not going to tell us anything you haven't heard. I guarantee yeah. you. Honestly, I, I I do not remember doing this. I do not. So it had to go. It had to have gone through your mind while you're on great vacation or whatever, especially when you saw the article. What am I going to do? What am I going to say if the police come to me? That had to have crossed your mind. And, and what is it that you thought you were going to say to the police? Well, to be honest, in my mind, as far as I know, before that, I, 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 I went out and talked to my wife. I went out. Um, I picked up a girl and I took her back to where I found her the next morning at the uh, homeless uh, shelter place. Um, I went to work through the day sometime. I went to my truck to go get some lunch, went around the back, and I saw something dropping out the back. And that, that's, when the night, that's when my nightmare started. It's like, what the heck? What do I do? I can't. So I, then I was thinking about, well, do I go to the police? Do I dump it? Uh, where I parked my truck was actually right next to some dumpsters at, at work. So um, I could have just dumped there, but I mean, it's like, no, it's like right here, you know? Um, and I started thinking and I realized I need to <clears throat> go find like a lonely stretch of road and go, you know? So, so you're, and, and you're a mechanic at these hotels, right? Yeah. You know that they have surveillance systems. You know that the Marriott Midtown has a camera system, right? You know, there's, all, all of them have inside cameras, right? Yeah. I, I do not remember taking photos of it. But we're not done. done. Is, could anybody else have done, it, done this and been... Look, it, it has to be me. I was, only, I was the only person there. It has to be me. But I don't, I don't remember it. I'm, I'm telling you, I do not remember taking it. <laughs> I do not remember seeing. Honestly, you know, people can understand. People know that we're human. We all make mistakes. You make mistakes. We all make. People understand that. Mm -hmm. But people understand when people make mistakes. And saying I don't remember this happening is not gonna is not gonna cut it on there. I know you remember I, this happening. I do not. I tell you, I do not remember this. I hardly even remember picking up the girl. I've got a flash in my mind of her shouting, what girl? It's safe to say that's not this woman. Mm -hmm. The woman you're talking about? No, it's no, not her. Short hair. So we did that, 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 that's hair. a different time, the day before something. It's not this day. Pretty safe to it, say that. It was this day because I checked out that day. And I wanted to get her out of the room, and that's why I waited for. I, I would have just left her and said, "Listen, I'm going to work, and you you walk to work yourself." But I wanted to make sure she was at work so that she's not there, so that maybe I don't find her 
sleeping in the room and then phoning and saying, Brian, why is there a woman sleeping here, you know? Um, and also I was liable for the room if she, she breaks anything. So I took the woman back to work the next door. And I, I cannot remember her, her name or, but I'll, she was shortish and a little bit stumpy, um, short hair. She's uniquely right, 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 you'll recognize her. That's not her. Yeah. No, no, no. You're no. describing her, everything except the hair. No, 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 no. She had short, short hair. Um, no, no, um, no, I, I, I dropped it off in the morning and I, I still drove in and I popped and she climbed out and I was still thinking like, you know, woman, just get out, I need to get to work, you know, you're holding me back here. I dropped off at work and the friends were greeting her and that's why I know that she must, she, she must, she, she's not just a real entry level worker there, she must be a bigger worker there. And she still said to me that she doesn't usually go with guys. You know, she prefers yeah. girls. And but she she had short hair. Because it still grows me out because like, it's a, like a dark type of hair, you know. It was not this person. You didn't anticipate us getting a hold of this SD card, did you? Did you intend for that to happen? No. I, I, I wouldn't. I don't remember. And when you lost it or when you didn't know where it was, you were curious about it, right? Um, no. I've... Where do you think this card came from? Do you think this card was stolen out of your truck at the time it was broke into? Or do you think it happened at a different event? Did somebody else take it from you? That kind of thing. Well, my truck was broken into. Before the state. So it's safe to say this was not taken out of your truck, correct? Yeah. I would so say. Is there any other event that you can think of that we might be have been notified about when that card was found or taken? No. But I can tell you these are not GoPro photographs. They are your GoPro no, they, they, they're, they're not, not GoPro. A GoPro is a, it's a, it's a fish. It's a lens, I guess. So this is with a phone. It's a phone or a normal camera. Yeah. But this is not a GoPro. Yeah. How do you think we came in to be holding that SD card? You didn't give it to us, right? No. I didn't, I don't even know that I'm missing any SD card. We are. Yeah. Here's that one. I don't exactly like it. I think exactly like it in my 3D printer at the moment. Um, have you had an interest in killers? Have you ever had a, an interest in killing or killers? Do you have an interest in that? Oh, that's, interest that's, something, in that's something that you, a lot of people are intrigued by killers, serial killers, any kind of killer. Do you have any? Oh, everyone is. Um, especially with, with uh, Alicia, we spoke about that kind of stuff, you know. Um, what, what, kind of, what kind of interest do you have in, in that? What what intrigues you or what why do you do that? What is, uh, I, I don't know. Um, just the weirdness of it, I suppose. That you've got like a normal person that does something weird like that, you know. Um, like the Unabomber guy, I mean, he was supposed to be quite an intelligent guy, and mm -hmm. yeah, he ends up killing people. Uh, I did hear that he actually wasn't really bad, he was just um, uh, going against society, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of those people are like that, and not necessarily bad, a lot of them have normal lives, everyday lives, and most of the time people don't know Anything else? Uh, know, know that part of them. Most of most serial killers are like that. Mm -hmm. You told her that you killed one, at least one other person in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that's the, 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 the thing was with, uh, with Alicia. We were trying to outdo each other. You know, it was like, yeah, you know, I ran away from South Africa. Wow, you know. But I randomly met my wife. We 
chatted for a long time, we became friends, and that's why I left South Africa. But everybody wants to leave South Africa. Put yourself in our shoes, though. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It seems like a, it's, it's very inconvenient. Well, but basically, uh, I shouldn't have spoken to Alicia about stupid things like that, you know? But you didn't just speak to her about it. You showed her videos of you punching women in the vagina. Buttering up your fist and shoving it into the vagina, kicking them into the vagina. You showed she saw these things and she was frankly right. and you told her by that without whether it was or wasn't. Oh, 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 oh man. And it's exactly the same thing that we're seeing in these videos. No. Uh, um I showed her I, I, I found um when we were doing this whole thing, okay. Uh, we were trying to uh, the, the whole thing was about suffocation. I remember this now. And I found video of a woman that was on a bed like this uh a big thing like this and, that, and there was a, a piece of like latex plastic put over it and the, the air was sucked out and this girl's like suffocating and she's doing this and that was one of alicia's fantasies was the suffocation thing so i recorded it and sent it to her like wow and this was like a huge turn on for her and the more I turned her on, the more I would perceive, you know. And uh, on the same website, I then found other pictures and stuff like that of people hitting and punching. And I, and I actually tried to tell her, yeah, that was me. That was me. I did that one, you know. I sort of said, yeah, that's my hand. It's my hand. It's my hand, you know. And uh, she, she said, oh, bullshit. That's not you, you know. So, um, so we'll probably so that, that, that's where those pictures come from. So we'll probably find because like I said we're searching your stuff, yeah. all your digitals, all your electronics. It's your house. Probably find we're those. the house right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're probably going to find those videos. Your truck. You have a truck. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that's you, that's your hand in the video, and we're going to know now because we have a video with your hand in it. And uh, so we're going to be able to compare, it, right? Yeah. You're actually not denying that that's you, actually, right? You're just saying you don't remember it. Is what you're saying. You say you saw me pushing this cart. I, uh, if you see, if you saw me, uh, it must be me. Uh, that, that is my voice. That's your truck. I, I, I do. I, I'm telling you, I don't. I do not. I do not remember this. We can see your your stomach and your legs, and I mean, I can't see your legs under your jeans, but obviously your stomach, the way it, it's the same, it matches what I saw in the video. So I'm, you're, I'm you're straddling on top of her yeah. and tying a string around her neck and strangling her with it. Yeah. Uh, so, you, you know, like Detective Lee told you, we have your at and records, yeah. where, where your phone was. You also have Google records. You have locator on your phone. Yeah. It's been on for since 2016. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that this is the kind of person that you are, but you have this type of this person is in you somewhere because that this person did this. I'm, I'm not saying this myself about this. And, and it might not be the person that everybody else sees every day, that your wife sees and your friends see and all that type of stuff. But this, but this person exists. And Alicia saw this person. Maybe other prostitutes saw this person, but this woman certainly saw this person. And that's the person that we need to hear what his, what, you, what his thought process was, what it was that you were thinking, if it was a fantasy, if it went too far, what it was, because that's what we need to know. Because we can tell you're a, a great person, you have a great job, you've yeah. maintained a job for a long time, you're very smart. We're going to find that out. Your wife's not going to know anything like this exists of you, right? But it does. Yeah. But it does. And only you can provide that answer and that explanation for us as to why and we already know that it, that it was you and that you did it but and i can see the wheels turning you yeah. you you might not be able to tell us well i did it because but you've had this fantasy whether it was about sexual choking killing whatever it was the, the one like with alicia she kept saying i was pretty hard at pretty well she actually wanted to blank out and i actually Stood up and I walked away. And I said to another, she's but, okay, but that's a leash. You know? That's a leash. This is no, not a leash. But, but, but if, 
if I was going to have a fantasy going further on, I could have carried on with Alicia, you know? But this is... Except a year later. Except Alicia, yeah. You have a history with Alicia. She, you know how easy it would be to find out who killed Alicia? You would have a, a several months relationship if Alicia was killed. Oh, it, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be difficult to pinpoint you for it. But if you pick up somebody in the, in the dark of the night who's an indigent person, homeless person, down by the homeless shelter, these are the type of people that are perfect for yeah. this. And that's what you did. All right. And, and I don't know whether you carried out fantasies with, listen, with the other prostitutes yeah. that didn't go this far. Yeah. Well, it is. Uh, if, you, if you want to kill someone, yeah, the prostitutes is probably your best bet. Well, actually, not a prostitute. Um, they usually have a pump or whatever that'll still keep track of them or whatever. You know, you didn't bring back your money to an answer. An indigent person, you know, an homeless person somewhere. Somebody yeah. somebody's going to miss. Yeah. And that word's going to get out. This is going to, people are going to hear about this, and we're going to hear from people, people that you've had this type of thing with, maybe not this far. But we're going to hear stuff, and then we're going to, then we're going to realize, oh, wait, like we already know, he did not remember that. He knew what was going on. He's smarter than that. He remembers this. And I know you do, Brian. I know you remember this. And it's just getting back to that whole thing about this is your chance. This is your hand, chance to jump out in front of it. I, 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 I do not. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember. Even this, I should remember that. I don't. Do not remember this. I don't. I... Sorry, I lied to you about the beginning of about the dumping thing, but I just I don't, don't remember this. Honestly, I do not remember this girl. Yeah, like this. I don't remember that. I remember. Okay. Do you remember? Where's our first one? Oh, the first one. No, that's it. You remember her. That face is not familiar. There's another one you've got where your hair's all messed up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember. But this is, this is what you did to her. Is that the same person? It is the same, person. Is the same person. The dentals match. We matched it up. And we'll just tell we'll just tell our parents that he doesn't remember. And we'll just tell your wife he, he's done it. He's on video doing it, but he doesn't remember. He remembers dumping the body, but he doesn't remember. Okay. You think your wife's gonna believe that? No, no you're, not. you're a smart guy. You're a good man. You're I, not, if I was you, I wouldn't believe that. Um, if you're in a little bit of shock or something like that, doing something like this will wake you up out of the shock. You know, I, I, I do not. I so yeah, you wake me up out of the shock. No, well, why are you doing it? You know, it's like, um, yeah. Have you ever shared videos online besides your YouTube? No. You don't have a, you don't have a, a, a shared no. file network no. system. What type of stuff do you do on the internet? What do you, what do you like to do on the internet? Oh, play games. I've got a game called Minecraft, Minecraft that I play. Mm -hmm. There's a game that my wife and I play. Uh, it's one that I met on called Realm of Empires. We play that. We've got a little thing called Dakota Farm, which is like Farmville kind of thing we play. I play on Facebook. Um, um, I'm interested in architecture and building. I'm always researching that. Lowe's is probably my most favorite page on my whole computer. Um, I'm always looking for things to build, and that's what you'll find. Uh, and you'll find some naughty stuff, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, every man's got some naughty video somewhere. Um, yeah. We kind of thought that uh, you would want, in your words, at least a, an explanation for what could have happened and why you did this. If I did this, I don't know why. I, I, I can't think in my mind why I would do something. The fantasies that Elisha and I had were 
would not be. It would not be. These are, these are exactly the fantasies that you and Alicia talked about. And you, you said you were trying to one up each other. And I understand that. Yeah. And, and that may have just been fantasy. Mm -hmm. But what it was, was kicking, hitting vaginas, strangling, right? That's what you talked to her about. If you, oh, yeah, if, oh, you, yeah. if, you if you took what you and her talked about and laid it side by side with this video, mm -hmm. it would be the same thing. It's the same fantasy. Mm -hmm. Except if you did it with Alicia and it was fake, you carried it out with this person and it was real. And and then and then the next day, reality sunk in and you didn't know what to do with her body. All right. And so but, but you can't I don't I don't think you can sit here and tell us that you're gonna stay with I only remember finding her in the back of my truck and not knowing what to do. And I, I have no idea what I did before that. Even though all this evidence shows you where you were, who you were with. And that you did it. I mean, you can hear yourself telling her that. What's preventing you? What are you scared? What's, what's what are you scared of? What's preventing you from just letting it out? And do you think we're, that we're going to judge you or not believe the what happened? Or do we think? I mean. No, I, I don't want to admit to something I haven't done. What, 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 I don't know. I don't know. You say I've done it. You, you've got evidence. I, I'm, I'm not denying that. That's my truck. You, you've seen, you saw me apparently pushing this thing. Um, we see I'm it. not going to call you a liar. And we see you choking her, standing yeah. on her neck. You're Thinking saying her. You've got video of me doing here. Talking about killing her to die, bitch, and telling her to die, and getting mad when she starts gasping. You're right interfering here. with my drinking time. It sounds like something I would say. You did say it. Yeah. She's not dying fast enough. She's interfering with your drinking time. You say 20 hours later, going on now, 20 hours later. You just need to learn how to be serial killed. Twenty hours later, you're just you're telling her that. Yeah. It's almost a, it's like you're playing it for a audience, and you're describing it, it, everything. You're describing where you put your thumb and your finger to cause the the blood flow to stop. You describe that. That is what we did with Alicia. I understand that. Yeah, you did do that with Alicia. I get that, but it's different here. Yeah. Because this is somebody that well, Alicia's not going to know. Yeah. And you even said you even said when you dumped the body, you were hoping that somebody would find it so it would get taken care of. Yet you said you took this blanket in the tarp and you dumped it somewhere else so it wouldn't be so obvious. Yeah. So she wouldn't get found. So she wouldn't get found. You didn't want her to because they'd see that. You said they'd see that. That white that thing sticking out there to see that. Right. You weren't anticipating that we were going to get a hold of this car, and you weren't anticipating that the railroad was going to drive by and see bones laying on the side of the railroad track. You didn't anticipate that. What do you think a, a real, a normal person, reasonable person? If I came out and I found a dead body in my back seat of my car or in the back of my truck, what, what would a reasonable person who's never had any contact with the law, as far as I know, right? Mm -hmm. Never had any negative contact with the law. There's video there that would explain it, right? If somebody put that. To, body in the back of your truck why would you not call it a reasonable person would call the police and say hey i found a dead body what they wouldn't do is wait two days keep the, the dead body in the back of their car drive it home park it in the in the driveway and then take it out to a spot and not only get, dump the body over the guardrail but take the other stuff that's with her to a different place what does that look like and then take pictures of her in the back of your truck yeah so nobody else could have done that I, I, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I was the only person there when I dumped her, that's, uh, yeah, that, that, so you're the only I'm person that could have taken that photo, and it's on this SD card of you killing her. Oh, yeah, yeah, your question was, um, what would somebody do, um, normally I would guess, just, what the hell? I'd run in front of the police. Okay, but this time you didn't. Why? Because I had 
been with a girl, and if I could bring this up, it would come out, and my wife would find out that I did. I'd stick to somebody. Well, you were with a girl, and your wife is going to find out. Yeah. And you killed her. This is not the girl I was with. Yeah. Exactly. So it, this, she has nothing to do with that other girl. So you call the police, say, hey, there's a somebody put a body in my truck. It, 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 How it, would that come back to you cheating on your wife? No, because then, 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 then your wife knew you went to the hotel, you weren't at home. Yeah, okay. Well, if, 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 uh, me finding this, okay, um, if the police have to investigate, so, you know, where does it come from? They want to know where I was. And that's when they would have found out that I've been in the hotel with somebody. That's the point I'm trying to make. That's why I was scared. My wife is going to find out that I'm. And she weren't scared about that because what else would the police have found out? The police would have went there and got those cameras from that hotel. And we would have seen you. And we would have seen you. We would have seen that you rented the room. To me, I was scared my wife's going to find out I'm teaching on it. That's what, that's what I, where I like. What the hell? And I can tell you, this is the, 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 the most weirdest, messed up thing that's ever happened in my life. Oh, I, I would hope so. Yeah. I mean, I would hope that this is the only time this has ever happened in your life. Yeah. Even though you're telling other people and her while you're killing her that it's not. You're telling her that you're a serial killer and you are telling Alicia that you're a serial, serial killer. Right? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, initially, you told her, you told yeah, her that. yeah, initially, seriously, her and I would just like go one on one, and then I'd add on more and more people. As I... And wait, and like you said, we have your Google record, we have your phone records, which go back, you know, since you've had a phone, but we got your Google records that go back to since you've been in this country. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see every single spot you've ever been with that phone. And that might lead us to some stuff. That might lead us to something else. It's probably going to lead us to the dumpster. It's going to lead us to wherever you pulled over and picked her up at. It's going to lead us to if you actually got alcohol with her prior to going to the hotel. Right? So the, the girl with the short hair, give a pencil, a bit big, yeah. Let me just show you something. Yeah. We'll be able to find her if you say she's yeah, not. She's she's not going to be a she's a, and I'm not worried about her. She's alive. Hopefully. This road does this. Yes, the prison. Yes. This road goes down like it. Yes, the homeless shelter. It's like a little entrance here. So yes, the homeless shelter. Yes, a road and yes, a road. I found a girl over here. We spoke about um, getting a drink, going for a drink. And we, we realized it's too late and we stopped over here. So it's, it's just right in front of the homeless shelter. If you drive out the entrance, right there is where we bought the vodka. Okay. And I went and dropped it off right inside. You bought the vodka from some other person there? There's some homeless people there. And I didn't drink any of it. Okay. Um, and I know that. I didn't drink any of the vodka. So you know we'll be able to see this if this happened and it's what day this happened. Yeah. So, so this, uh, I, rem I remember this, because stopping there was like, it's, it's a something out of, not normal stopping and buying alcohol from her this time. So I've got that flash of her leaning out shouting, hey, we want vodka. I've got, I've got that flash in my mind of that. And then we went back to the hotel. And then, then you took her back the next day, okay. which was the day you checked out, which was the fourth. Yeah. And then you went to the your work and you found a dead body in the back of your truck. Yeah, correct. Well, that's when I noticed it. I noticed it the back of my truck. And the cameras are going to show you walking out with a short-haired girl to give her a ride. At that the same hotel. But you think the same hotel. hotel. And I'll be able to be able to be able to speak. Yeah. It should. It will or it should? It will. It will it should. It will. Uh, I'm, I'm just as sure as it showed you if, if, I'm, her out. if I'm dreaming about this, then I've I've dreamt about a short end girl. But I can I can tell you I it was real. I drove her there. I was Pissed off because she was taking too long to get her makeup on. I was like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. So you drove that other girl home with the dead body, presumably with the dead body in the back of your truck to the homeless shelter and then to work. Well, that's what you say to me, what, what it sounds like. So how did you know that it was a body in the back of your truck when you saw the stuff leaking out of it? Well, I went into my truck and I, and I saw something dripping out. Mm -hmm. And I went in like, what? I like, oh, Jesus. You know, but you opened up your truck and yeah. was was that was was she wrapped up in the tarp and the, the comforter or what? How did you have to unwrap it? It was in the in the white, and then the top was like sort of over it. 
and I, and I didn't recognize what they are. Like, this is not mine. And I, when I lifted it, I was like, oh, shit, there's something inside here. And your first instinct was to not call the police. And Well, I can tell you, Mom, uh, my mind was racing. There was a million things going through. Like, what, what, what do I do? And honestly, I, I didn't know what the hell to do. How do you resolve this? Do you get her medical attention? Check on her. This person was cold. She was cold. And um, yeah, she was, yeah, I got like, touched and like it was just ice, ice cold. Yeah. <clears throat> so I knew, I knew there was nothing there. And there was a smell already as well from like, like a poop smell. So I knew. What do you think should happen to somebody that doesn't think like this? Well, this is bad. I can tell you, this is this is not a, a nice thing to, to to do, or to find out that you've done. You know, this is not nice. I, I, I don't like this. This is. A, is your, and when we, like you said, we're talking to your wife right now. Is she going to say anything, anything about, not necessarily this, but about the, the stuff that you, that you and Alicia talked about? Or was your wife involved in any of it? Does she know about anything about the no, fantasies? No, no. Um, my wife would have left me if she knew about, about Alicia. She would have done my arms. So she doesn't have any, any inclination about your sexual desires that she's that you're not doing with her? I'm assuming that you're doing this with other people because she doesn't, maybe? Well, one of the problems my wife and I have is that we not having sex. Um, uh, she's getting older now, so things are, this is a little bit personal, but she's a little bit dry. Mm -hmm. So sex is usually a pre-planned kind of thing, and it's like a whole mold up to it. And usually then by the time, She's really out like lost interest already. So it's been about a year since we've had sex. So um and it's been a, a big strain on our on our marriage. And that's what I've been I was actually hoping a weekend away there would take me away from work stress and whatever and I'd burn I could do something there. But we just didn't get this from the charge basically. We stayed at the hotel together, but we were getting home late as much. And then did, did you recently became naturalized. Yeah, so it's a few September, 10 days ago. Yeah. September 20th. Yeah. So how long have you had the fantasies like you shared with Alicia? Was it before Alicia? Did you share it with people before her or was, did it start no, with her? No, me and Alicia. This was the start with her. Okay. Yeah, we, she's not a bad girl. I know she's lying about her side of her little stories that she made up. I don't even remember her stuff. But, mm -hmm. um, and, and the stories are impossible. They're like these crazy stories. So, you know, that's that was our fantasy. They were, they were, they were like outrageous. Like I said, it's, it's, it's things that can't, can't be real. Mm -hmm. you know? except, except they are. Well, yes, yeah, he's showing me stuff. But uh, the stuff with Alicia, that was, that was just a horny guy and a horny girl just trying to turn each other on. You know, and like I said, her thing was being being choked. But it turned you on too that she was turned on about it. I don't know because, like I said, um, the one night she she said I was choke her and I was holding her and her eyes went backwards and I got a fright. I said no, and I, I, and she said, "Where are you going?" And I was like, "No, no, no!" And I and I raced home. I didn't want to be that, 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 that scared me. Did you ever take, it out, take her out anywhere and tell her you were taking her to where you had dumped a body or something? You know. Did you ever tell her where you killed somebody? Oh, uh, yes. Nice. Like at 32nd and Dora Brandt, 30, in Spinard in the Midtown area, did you ever tell her you killed somebody there? Um, I was trying to. Make it as, um, uh, I, I think I know what you're talking about there, but um, I, I, was trying to, I was trying to make it, you know, give evidence to my a story that's real, it's real. And uh, the one night we were driving around and uh, she said, 
Oh, I just got a funny feeling. And um, I said, well, what do you mean? And she, she said something. And I, and I said, oh, yes. That's because we just drove past like a, a place where I like, did something, you know. And uh, then I drove around there and I was like, yes, it's that house. It's this house, you know. And th 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 that was just our fantasy stuff. Yeah. Okay. If she thinks it was real, then I... Uh, then my uh, then my my little fantasy side about those things was very convincing. If she thinks that it was real, do you have any other Facebook accounts that aren't just Brian Smith? Oh yes, yeah. Um, I've got one called Bradley Phillips. Brady Phillips. A Bradley. Bradley. Yeah. The game that my wife and I played that we met on. Uh, there's this little thing called a. There's something you can do called multi, where you can be multiple players, but it's one person that's got it. And that gives you an advantage in the game because now you've got two people playing and then you take over this guy's little bit just now you, you're suddenly twice as big as everybody else. So you can play Brian and Bradley. Yeah. And then whoever's... Um, and actually, I, I, I wouldn't play it with Brian because uh, these little games also put like spam and rubbish on your... And you've got to make friends with everybody in your, your little team. So I didn't want that on my Brian Smith uh, Facebook. So I've got Bradley and uh, I've got one that the, the one that I was friends with Alicia on is called Ro Alaska, R-O-E. That's Realm of Empires Alaska. Mm -hmm. And uh, on those two, um, because it's not my name and it's not linked to me, I can vent and I can say things there that will not affect me. Uh, for example, uh, I was I'm a I support the president. I support everything he's doing. As a businessman, I, I believe everything he's doing is right. But a lot of my wife's friends are not. They they're very democrat. So um, Brian Smith doesn't say um, yeah, build a flipping wall. <laughs> Brandy will go out and say yes. You know, if, if you you you, 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 you I'll probably want to read. You'll read the stuff. You'll you'll see. It. Brandy's a, a real asshole. He's like my alter ego. He's and he's got the naughty jokes on and stuff. Um, Ro, well, he's, he's he's similar. You know, who? A, 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 you can write down the R O E Alaska. That's his name. So, and, and Rose stands for Realm of Empires. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever take Alicia to your house? Did you know what happened? Uh, yeah, I, I took her. My mom, one week, my, my wife went away and I, I took Alicia there. And, uh, yeah. and so, um, one of the things that, that, we're, that we're doing, obviously, when in searching your house and searching your life times is looking through that. Is there any other evidence or things on your computers or your phones or anything else that are similar to this any any videos of you doing anything any photographs of uh, dead people any anything like that that, that, that they're going to find that, that we need to know about no but, like i said the only thing is that girl that was on that sheet that was under that that, that suffocating girl that's I, I i might have said that okay and you will find some videos of me and alicia um, doing doing stuff. sexual stuff. Yeah. Okay. Any, any besides the person that's in the uh, under the tarp or whatever, that's that's the only thing that's going to be on it or on the sheet. That's a girl that we are bet and we were we screwed a little bit and um, as a once more time I cheated on my wife with this one and she was passed out drunk. And when was that? This is actually recently a few weeks ago. After or before you were at the hotel? After this, yeah. She was drunk out of her mind. So after this, where did you meet her at? This was probably at the Hammer Shelter. If you drive past there, you can find 
easy goals at 10 bucks, 20 bucks, they'll do anything. Okay. Uh, and when I saw she was drunk, I guess I was like, oh, yeah, So did you pick her up? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Where'd you go? Um, I can't remember. This was. When you go down old so the new sewer, you go you're going down the dip, there's a bank and there's a Ford garage here. There's a park over here. We stopped over there and we on the side to be shagged a little bit. And I left her there. She was like I said, she was drunk out of the Shiloh about back, back to the church by the church there. He the says there's a little church there. I don't know the street names, but yeah, there's like a there's a little Creek there, and there's a pathway there. It's two like big fields here, yeah. And then she, she was passed out, um, drunk out of her mind. Yeah. Where's she at now? I don't know. I left her there, so she found her way home. Yeah. So you had sex with her? Yeah. Okay. When did she get drunk to the point where she's passed out? It, oh, it well, looks I, like it'd be hard to have sex with her. Oh, well, when I picked up, she was drunk and she had a bottle with it. Mm -hmm. So. And we, 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 we sat there for a while, like 10 minutes or so, drinking, and then it was getting late, uh, well, early in the morning, and I needed to get going. So I said, let's just finish everything. Just, and just Yeah. So you really, you said maybe three times in a couple of years, and now we've already have, but now yeah. we already have three, yeah, so in, the three in about a month. So are, are we sure that you, no, well, before, before, this girl from this night, mm -hmm. there was probably about three times that I picked up a girl. So maybe six. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's, sorry, when, when you and I said three, it was three before the so Yeah, so three, four, five, yeah. Six. Yeah. What was her name? I don't know. I don't even remember what we spoke about. How much did you, do you remember how much you paid her? I don't think I even paid her. Because she was like that, you didn't have to. She was drunk, yeah. She was, you know. What about the other? And, and, and that's convenient, that, you know. Um, uh, I'm just curious. Okay, I'm, 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 we, we, we did try. Do you, do you, do you wear protection? I'm just that's just for my curiosity. Do you wear color? Um, yeah, I did. Usually, I, if, 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 if the girls. The, the first three I did put it that way. And then, and then the short haired girl I did. So, but uh, how about her? Did you have sex with her? No, uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh. You've convinced me I've done that, which you're putting stories in my head that maybe it's a fantasy gone off or it's something I didn't remember, but. But we really need the answers as to how this kind of stuff uh, led, led to this, because that's not uncommon. All right. I'm, I'm talking about, it's, a lot of, it's not uncommon for people to have gone from this to this. Uh, yeah. we, we've talked to several people that that's happened to. These, these are convenient people yeah. for this to happen to. But, but what was it different? You've had this night, you had the other night. What, was, what made this one different than these other nights? I, I I don't know what would make me do something like that. That's why I, if you didn't show me audio and you didn't tell me that you saw me pushing the, the, the cart with this on, this does look like there's someone's hair sticking out here. So this, oh, there she's in there. She's yeah, 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 yeah. That's her head right there. Look at it closer. That's her face. And just understand, these are like photographs. When you get this on a 55-inch TV, which is what we're watching them on, yeah, yeah, we can bring that in here, obviously. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, no. this is when you're done with her. This is when you're done with her. This is here, and this is a, a, a this is a zoom in of it. So this, there, there's several photos of this where you actually wheel her out there, and you set her by the truck, you walk back 20 or 30 feet, and take a photo of um, it's, it's almost like you're you're making a film, all right? I mean, that's what happened. And so, what happened that caused it to go from this 
to this. Up in the, you know, my my experience tells me that this may 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 no longer boost your bolster your alter ego, and then have to go to this for that to happen. And if that's what happened, then that explains why you would go to the next level. That would make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. But that is pathetic of me to want to do that. Okay, but and, and they, 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 they don't mean I'm messed up. The, the, the other girls I picked up has just been quick in the car, you know, just do something in the car. How long do you think you were the, with this person? Told like from pick up at a pick up we we probably probably drove there looking for a place, you know, you you asking you know a place. Mm -hmm. And we went there and we were there probably about I'm sure we, we, we chatted. Usually you sit and talk for a little bit, finish your drink or whatever. Um, we were probably there for about half an hour that we got out and we quickly did it. And, and you told us earlier that you had difficulty sometimes. Sometimes it's like, yeah, this doesn't work. What is it that excites you about this that, doesn't, that causes it to work? Well, that's the thing. I don't know if I actually would have come with it. Let's put it that way. You didn't come? No, I'm saying I don't know if I would have come. Okay. So sometimes it's just the act of just okay. doing something, you know, just, you know. Um, I know I was, I, was, I was drunk, not as drunk as this night. Uh, I know I, I had quite a few drinks. How many times did you drive down there and not pick somebody up? <laughs> well, that's, in all honesty, that's one of the things that I don't like. I, I sometimes go to the the, the, um, the Safeway that's down there, you know, and then as I'm driving, I see a girl on the side, and she's like looking at me, and I know there's a ten dollar blowjob there, you know, and then that'll bug me for the next few days, and then um, yeah, and and we we stay. Close to the body that you didn't take opportunity, or no, it's it's, it's like it's it's. The, there's like a, a, a girl, you know, that, that's it's not your wife, it's like a it, that's exciting, you know. So, um, it's it's like don't leave me to temptation. If I, if I don't go, if I don't see anything that doesn't bug me, I, 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 you know, like I said, I, um, it's, it's, it's not it's not often. It's uh, the other girls I've actually met on Spinal for some reason. I was driving down that way, you know, and you see a girl on the side there. So those were the first three times. Pretty safe to say you know where the prostitutes are, right? Or where a homeless person would be that would that you could get a ten dollar bill. Well, the the homeless thing I, I, I saw by accident. Mm -hmm. Um I was actually well, when I coming back past that direction, I don't know why. And I like saw these people there and girls come walking up to your car. And then again, you know, I think, well, you know, I can get a a free shake right here, you know, and then it's it sits in place in the back of your mind over and over, and then up a month later, you like your wife fall asleep, and you're sitting there watching TV. It's midnight, and you're like, oh, I can get a free somewhere. Yeah, let's just go for a quick drive and go and get something. So is it even more exciting on a night where, let's say, you and your wife? Have... No, we've been going about an hour. Is it a good time to stop? Yes, we have. Let's take another break. Please. This, everyone else is here that needs to be here in order to resume the Brian Smith trial. And uh, it's about a little bit at 16 afternoon. You may resume. Okay. And Detective Bell, just to resume here in not military time, what time is 1757? It's uh, 557. Okay, so just short of 6 p.m. And um, for folks that were following along, we're near the top of page 145 in the transcript. So it was even more exciting on a night where, let's say, you and your wife had a fight, you've got your own space, your own room, a lot more opportunity to really enjoy it more than just for a 10-minute check, but more like an all-night experience. Well, that, yes. Um, you can take a girl to your hotel room. It's, it's, it's not a big rush, and I, I, I hate rushes like that, you know, because you lie and you've got the girls in your pants now and mm -hmm. make a lot of yourself. So, um, so it was, a lot, was it more exciting in the hotel room or was it less of a rush? 
it's it's not exciting. It's just not so. It's it's not so dirty. You know, yeah. it's you know you can sit down, you can watch TV, and you can have a drink. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, driving around picking up that. I've got to open alcohol container in my vehicle, and the wrong policeman, or the right policeman, ever in, in a bad mood, you know, stops me and says, "Let me look at your vehicle, sir." You know, so you don't want to be driving around. That's why they, I try and it's quick and gone, you know. Mm -hmm. So in a room, though, you have you have more opportunity of privacy. You have and then you a can nice bed, then you shower, can, then you can drink, and then you can drink, and you can enjoy yourself, which is. Probably how this night started out, right? When you got her there, it was you had that. It was a perfect setup. Your your own room. You're away from your wife. You can enjoy yourself. You can have the fans. You can enjoy it. And that's how it started out that night, right? Everything was great. But then something something happened that night with her that changed that. Like she changed her mind, and you got all worked up, and you were ready to go. And, and I get I'm a guy. I get that. Yeah. I, I know how the, the physics work. I get it when you get you get all worked up and ready to go and excited, and then boom, she changes her mind. And I'm thinking that's probably what happened there. Like she was all about it, and you were all about it, and then all of a sudden she she just wanted you for your alcohol. Mm. And I'm guessing that's probably what happened, right? Like she like that's and it made you all of a sudden snap back like right? what? You know, I was I was ready for this. I had this all ready. I got a room for this, and then she changed her mind, and that kind of ruined it for you, huh? Is that what happened that night? That's probably what could have happened. Yeah, exactly. And I get that. I get that. I got, I, like I said, I'm a guy. I know how, like, you get all in the anticipation. Like I said a minute ago about the jump, it's the anticipation is like the, the high rush. Mm. And then you get to that point, and then, oh, something happened, whether she changed her mind. She's only using you for your alcohol. She's, I want to leave. Mm. I want to get out. No, now she leaves. Now what? Now you've been drinking. You're in the room. You're by yourself. Now what? Now you're just back in that situation at home again. Is that what happened so, that night? That sounds logical, yeah. That does sound logical. Yeah, uh, uh, rejection, that's what you mm -hmm. about. Exactly. Rejection. You got rejected. And typically, you're not getting rejected. Typically, they're not doing that. Yeah. If you wanted to go, and you were already past that point of you were there, you were ready to go, and you didn't want her to go, right? That, that would make sense. That would make sense. It would, would make sense. Yeah, but that's what happened. Tell us what happened. I'm, I'm saying I do not. I don't. If, if that's what happened, that does make sense. Yeah. If that's what happened, that's all. We just need to know that you can tell us that because that 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 makes sense to me. Like I totally understand that. I would totally get that. Like I said, we've all been in that situation where we're on a date with a girl. This is it. It's going to happen tonight, and then oh, she changed her mind. That sucks. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, if that's what happened, we understand that. We totally can appreciate that. Yeah, and you can tell us that. So she did. She want to leave that night, and you didn't want her to go. No, I, I'm serious. I don't remember this girl. I, 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 I believe. I believe everything you're saying, but I don't remember doing this. I don't remember this girl. I honestly don't remember anything up until the morning I woke up. I mean, I opened the back of my truck, and yeah, was this person behind there? No one else could have put it there. I must have. You've got photograph for you mm -hmm. of me putting the there. Um, but I do not remember it. I do not remember doing that. I, I, I don't remember any of this stuff. I don't remember this. I guess is, is the rejection, is it embarrassing that that happened? Is that kind of hard to talk about because it's embarrassing? Because I can understand that too. No, I'm a guy. I get rejected a lot. Yeah. I've, I've, I've always been short in my life. So I've, been, I've often had girls. I'm, I'm used to it. Is it possible that maybe though, when you've been drinking a little bit, it's a little your mind's a little different? You know, when people drink, they lose their inhibitions. They, they sometimes make decisions they wouldn't normally make. So is it possible that when you got that rejection that night, that it, it made you do something that you wouldn't normally do? That you, did, you made a mistake basically, and you and, and you got angry, and you and you did that to her because you were angry that she rejected you. Because you had it all set up. You had the bottles of alcohol. You had the room. You brought her back there. Everything was good to go. And then the only thing that screwed up that plan was her wanting to leave. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think I would react like it. I don't think I would react like it from any kind of rejection. It's fair to say you didn't get rejected from this type of person. No, no, no she was she, she, she was into it. Yeah, and in the car she was touching me all the time. And, yeah, and she was 
fluttering over time as well, splitting. So I actually want to finish up there as quickly as I can, you know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've had more than just three little girlfriends. I have, I do go up and pick up girls and stuff. So, uh, yeah. When was this week? This was the same, the same weekend of this. The, the first two nights I stayed at another little hotel until I found out that I could actually stay at the Marriott cheaper. And that's when I picked up these girls. Which hotel was that? Um, is this a map? Yeah. Uh, what area of town was it in? <laughs> we know all the hotels. What's in there? It was a little garage hotel. Um, I had Google Maps over to help you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What part of town is it? It is on the. Okay, uh, Sue and Highway goes and then it turns on the way to um, Wissala. That road. Right. Okay. okay. Um, the third, the second or third turn off, right next to the road, there's a little across from the airport, across from Merrill Field. Very close to Merrill Field. By the castle. Castle. The castle sex store. Oh, that place. No, no, no. It, it, further up. Uh, out of town. No, no, no. They said um, there's a shopping mall. There's a Safeway and there's a Home Depot. Oh, okay. So, so when you, you're driving towards the side, there's like a Safeway and a Home Depot. Then there's, is it called the bar or the bar or the bar, whatever? And that goes over the the, the, the road going to the other side and just past that on this side, on the Home Depot side. There's a, it's a very dingy little place. And this girl um, suggested she knows a place we can go there. And I told her as well that I'm. Would uh, you recognize the name? Is it Art Art Turn? Yes, Optic Turn. I think that's the name of it. It's, it's a really it's got log sighting on it. And it's, yeah, yeah. And you were registered there. Yeah, and, and it was more expensive than the Marriott. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's pretty sad. Huh? I didn't realize that I had this that I could get a Marriott room for fifty dollars a night. So. Uh, so that so that's four. How many girls did you have at that hotel? Over how many days? Two days? Yeah, I was in two nights, yeah. So two nights there. Yeah. How many girls? Um was it, it was this girl that I can remember. Just one? In two days? The second night, the first night I got this girl. Where'd you get her at? She was actually just across the road there. I was driving around looking for, and I, I was going through the list of, I, 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 I Googled cheap accommodation. And, um, I was Googling cheap accommodation and then, uh, that's the, I was going to go past there and then I saw her on the side of the road and I picked her up. Yeah. And then she suggested the place and I said, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then, so you stayed there. That was the first night. Did you have a different girl the second night? No, I'm sure the second night I didn't stay by myself. I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep. Yeah. And I had a serious hangover from that, that night. How long did you night. fight with your wife? So then that would have been the last day of. We had, a, we had a very serious fight. Um, she. Uh, We all have a disagreement about stuff. And I'll tell her, listen, stop. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And she will go on. And she will carry on with it. And I'll say, stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the second time that I actually walked out, you know. And uh, I, I said to her, the, 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 the first time I walked out, uh, I stayed at some other little hotel downtown. And um, Anyway, I was there for like a night and then I went home the next day. And uh, I still said to myself, and I said to my wife, if I ever walk out again, if you ever make me so angry that I walk out, I'm going to divorce you. And um, 
that's one of the reasons why it took so long for me to do my naturalization. I could have done it two years ago. And I always thought, thought to myself that I don't want to do it. I don't want to get natural life because then technically I don't need my wife because uh, uh, she's my financial sponsor. You know, uh, if a, a legal immigrant has to go through all these things. You know, illegals don't have to do, worry about that. So, um, but anyway, yeah, that's why I, I didn't want to because I was scared that I'm going to walk out of my wife and you know if I'm if, we, if I'm if I'm naturalized I can walk out and I can do it by myself now. And uh, anyway, so. That night, we had an argument, and I thought to myself, stuff that, I don't care. You know, they can send me back to South Africa, I'll go flip and die there. I don't care. You know, that's how angry I was with my wife. Um, and then, so that's why I drove around looking for a place, any place. And I just, on the, the second day, I was at work and I spoke to the one guy, and I said, like, don't we get discount if we have married? And he said, yes, it's, you can go anywhere, it's like $50. And I said, oh, shucks. And then he, he went and booked me in at that hotel. And <laughs> there we go. I went and I, I stayed there for $50 compared to the like, 70 or 60 or $70 at this, this place. Yeah. Okay. So, so then he stayed at the Marriott. So that's two nights, yeah. <laughs> that's my stomach hurt. Is that on the bed? And that's obviously in the Marriott room, right? That looks like it. Yeah, that's me in it. Well, that's my stomach, definitely. Yeah. That's my dick. Who's the girl now? That girl looks like she's got long hair. Is that the same girl? Brian, we're getting to the point where it's almost getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is about if you if you want me to. No, what I want you to do is just. I mean, I I, I think you remember this, and I think that there apparently the explanation is that this other person that does this is somebody you don't want to. Tell us about or whatever this. I, I'm not schizophrenic. I don't have no, no. I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you're schizophrenic. But, but you know, but you but you're but you're living two different lives, right? Yeah. That's what that's what people do sometimes. If they, um, frankly, when they kill somebody, that nobody knows that that's what that, that that kind of person they're even capable. I can, your wife is, I'm sure, sitting here telling the detectives that no way, you have the wrong guy. Mm. But there is this other person that does this stuff mm. right and and is it because you don't want to hurt anybody else to know that that person that you're capable of that or that well obviously i don't want people to know that i pick up girls i don't, no, I don't want anyone to know all right but we just need to know and it sounds like you when you left the house you were very angry so i was um, all right so, but, but, so what we need to know is how this and this all this apparent consensual stuff got from that to this mm. is it because is this did you do this to her because of you were angry at your wife? No, no, no. And your wife it, rejected you, and you were. I mean, what? So what? No, no. My wife has never rejected me, but my wife actually, she she wants to have a more physical relationship, but um, but it hasn't been happening, right? Yeah, it hasn't been happening. It's. Uh, it's, it's difficult to it's, it's complicated to understand. Um, I once told her that she spoiled sex because it's it's, it's, it's it's such a procedure to get the whole thing going, you know. So what was the difference between these girls, this girl, this girl? What happened to those times? Uh, compared what happened this time compared to those times? Because something happened in there, and I think we kind of got close to it a minute ago that these girls. Like, let's do it. And same with Alicia Lane, let's go. Like she said, hurry up. And I think that's something you got used to. It was the convenience and the hey, we're gonna get this going. And I think what something happened with her. And I and I know you remember her. 
I know you remember this girl, and do you remember that photo? Because you don't remember these cards. Do you remember taking that on your phone? No. So you don't. So so you don't remember taking this photograph. No, that that is me. That's my stomach. That that's that's definitely me. Um, I, if I if they put it this way, it, it might sound bad, but it, it wouldn't have been such a big deal that I remember that photograph. You know, um, I might have just wanted to record me and the girl doing something. You know, like like, like yeah, just take a photo. Do you remember taking that? I. I remember taking photographs of this girl. And you remember taking the photos of Macy Little Bum? Yeah. Uh, well, 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 this was a. It's going to sound sick, but it was like a, a joke, you know, like a. I did that. She, she, I just yeah, drew her love yeah. So you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I don't remember. It wasn't a, a big event. So, yes, I took, I took the photo. Yes, I did. But I, I don't remember it physically. I don't so, do you remember taking all those? So, <laughs> these, I remember taking photos of this girl. She had a very, very nice little So, the only, the only thing you don't remember doing is taking pictures of this dead girl. You remember all these other people, but you don't remember the dead one? This, I don't remember. I, I, I don't. I, I do, I do not, I do not, do not, do not. I, I know you don't believe me. I do not. I know you don't believe me. I do not remember this. I do not remember this. I don't. I, I do not remember that. I do not remember it. You documented the whole. You documented the whole thing. Basically, with the photos. You don't remember any of these photos. Close-ups, general views, mid-range views, close-up. Pretty convenient that you remember all these other photos, but this is one particular ones you don't remember. I, I know, I know, I know what it sounds like, right? But I do. I'm not trying to say I blacked out. You asked me a question if I've ever. Blacked out. I, I answered you I'm so honestly on that. I'm not saying I blacked out on anything else. I'm just saying I do not remember this. I don't, don't remember doing this. So you're in disbelief that, that you did something like this? I I I, I do not believe I did. I can't believe I could have done this. It's different than the person when you go out at night and and pick up prostitutes. And for whatever reason on this night, it went bad. You either planned it. To be like that, and that's why you got the hotel room, all right. And the and the Adidas bag or the duffel bag or backpack or whatever it is that you carry with you, that you had with you that night, is your is the kit that you used, or that just happens to be the, the, the clothes that you took out with you when you left, all right. And because there's photographs of that, all right. So can just I think at this point with everything that you've seen, you owe it to yourself. I, I, I left, um, I just grabbed a work shirt and a work bag. Mm -hmm. So I went and got more clothes and wore a bag and I bought mm -hmm. clothes, jeans and shirt and stuff like that. So that's what I was carrying around with me. It was, it was it's not a kit. Okay. Of that, uh, okay. I went and bought clothes. Okay. So yeah, so I must, so I'm you're, not a so you meditative so person. You, okay. To me, good. I'm glad that you're not that person. Yeah. So then there's another explanation for what happened here. It wasn't that you went out that night looking for somebody to bring back to my hotel room and kill. You went out that night to find one of these girls, right? And you found one and you took her to the hotel room. And then instead of just taking photos and leaving them, this happened. And you're the only one that can provide an explanation as to why these, this type of behavior, this person, to this, whether this was intentional or whether it was an accident. The only way this could be an accident is you fulfilling some type of fantasy by videoing it and it went too far. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's on video. So you either intended to kill her or you intended to videotape this for yourself and it went too far. That's probably what happened. But, uh, Which one is probably what happened? Something went too far. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, I don't know. Yeah.
I don't remember it. I'm not going to say believe me because that's a trigger word, but I I don't remember this. <laughs> this year, um, I mean, yeah, that's you know, it's like these. I've, I've taken photos before when I mm -hmm. the girls. It's, all right. You're a good person that has a has a vice of wanting sex because you haven't been having it with your wife in a year or two. Everybody's going to understand that. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I have a wife, mm -hmm. so everybody understands that. All right. So we just need to get to the point where why. What would happen with a good person who doesn't make mistakes, that lives this other life, this other fantasy life? Because this is what this is, right? You're able to do things with these girls, take photos of them, that kind of stuff that that you don't get to do. And you don't do with your wife. Right. Yeah. And so and that excites you. Right. And so tell us what happened to this night with this person that was different about this and why that person did this and how it got to this point. I don't know what would have made me do this. I'm, I'm, have you have you fantasized ever about killing somebody? And I mean freely I'm not even talking with Alicia just have you ever have you ever I mean not that just out of anger like you're so mad at your wife or whoever that you that you wish they were dead but have you ever fantasized about killing somebody? Well, not fantasize, but often just from watching a movie or something, you look at things and you say, well, they shouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> and yes, um, myself and people I've been talking to, whatever, you know, we've often sat down and thought, what's the perfect murder? You know, what would you do? How would you do it? And, and Alicia and myself, we also spoke about that. You know, what's the best way to do when you do it? And, uh, um, uh, uh, Alaska apparently uh, is like the best place to do it. You can drive a hundred miles somewhere, dump something, and no one's ever going to find it. Mm -hmm. You know. So, um, and look at all these people. Look at all the. It's a target-rich environment, right? I mean, honestly. Well, yes, um, I have heard that there's been a lot of dirt around here. Um, I do know that uh, my wife was telling me about when the like 20, 30 years ago when the military base started growing big, some of those soldiers were picking up people and taking them to um, at something falls that's on it's just past uh, um, Eagle River. There's like a falls there, something like that. Apparently, there was a some soldiers that were killing people and raping girls. Yeah, so yeah, so they, I've, I've heard about these things, and yeah, so friends and I have spoken about the perfect murder. How do you get the have you ever murder? So about killing any of these people? No, but you pick out how easy that would be. I mean, you're just job. Nobody knew you had this person, right? We didn't know you had this person until just now, right? No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. But you could have taken her out somewhere, and no, there were people. Yeah. Oh, there was. It was we're in town, yeah, you know. Um, um, I wouldn't have fantasized about that. While, were you, while you were on your trip, another thing we did, you were looking up is basically making a confession to the police on your death. Something you Googled, something you were searching. Can you tell me about that? I did not do that. But it was in your search history on your Google. I did not search making a confession on my deathbed. I did not do that. Okay. Anybody else have your phone while you were gone? No. My wife and myself were together. She doesn't know how to use a phone at all. So, yeah. No, I did not Google it. Whoever told you that is telling you a lie. Or, um, if you search something, there's a, sometimes a result of stuff, and you don't know what the result is. But I would never search about anything like that.
And if I log into your computer now with my Gmail account and I type anything in there, it'll show me everything I've ever Googled. Uh, so I, I can prove it to you right now. So are you okay with, like I said, because this is this is big. Everybody's gonna hear about this. Are you okay, are you okay with everybody knowing that? Oh, the big, the big revelation in this thing was, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Are you okay with it being like that? You okay going out like that with, with them knowing that that was this was his explanation? You think everybody's gonna understand that? No one's gonna believe it. I, I don't believe it. I mean, I, I, everybody's gonna believe that happened. Yeah. Oh, we have more than we have evidence to show that happened. We can show them exactly when it happened, where it happened, where you dumped the body. We can show them everything. Yeah. So everybody's going to believe that happened. Yeah. Everybody's going to know that happened. But what they're not going to understand, like I said earlier, people aren't going to understand when somebody lies. People aren't going to understand. I don't know. Because they're going to know that you remember that, you remember that, that, of the other girls. But it's the convenience of, I don't remember this one particular time when we ended up dead in the ditch and things like that. Several weeks later, bones. Mm. And people would understand if, you know, but the reasons we gave you that something happened, there was a reaction. She made you mad. She changed your mind. She ruined the plan that you had. She ruined that, and not necessarily a fantasy, but you had it kind of scoped out of what was going to happen in that room that night. People would understand that. People get that. People know you're human. People understand human mistakes. People get human nature and you know that drive, that that determination. People understand that when something changes and something like that, it can make you upset, it can make you mad. People understand that. Mm -hmm. Like if they if, if they hear that, if they if you say that that happened, if people understand that, you hear that, like okay, well, I get that. Well, uh, me too. I wouldn't believe someone who said I didn't. You know, like I said, you right in the beginning. Um, if I was on a anger trip or whatever, um, the first moment you hit somebody, you'll come out of it. You know, you 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 sober from the first level you hit on the person. Well that's not what you did. Because they kept going for 30 minutes. Yeah, so that, that, that's you that's put your hand on her throat, called her some names, you slapped her, you slapped her vagina, you, you, you kicked her vagina. Mm -hmm. You told her she was gonna die. Mm -hmm. So you didn't come out of it. Yeah, you, you came out of it the next morning when you found the body in your truck, apparently. But then, then, then you really can't argue that because you actually took photos of her two days later in the back of your truck of of this per, of this body you just found in the back of your truck. You know, and you're you're telling us how you took photos of these other women, but yet you don't want to admit that. That's what that last photo was of her at 110 in the morning at mile 108 and a half, where your phone was, where your Google was, and where that photo was taken. Mm -hmm. That was that was bolstering for what you did to her the previous night. Just like this is bolstering what you did to her. This this is just a lesser degree. This is just what everybody does. This just went one step further. You get to write the press statement instead of the press making it up. Mm. I don't know why I would have done this. I don't know why I would have. I know I get angry. I know, I know how to handle anger. Um, many years ago, a customer of mine who was a psychologist told me that I'm one of those people that keeps in anger. And she said, if I ever get angry, I must let it out immediately. She said, don't keep it in. And that's what I do when I get angry. I let it out. I don't get it pulled up. I used it 20 years ago, but I don't, so.
I don't know why I would have done this. Not I mean, it, it, it can't, what I'm trying to say is it can't be anger, it can't be rejection, it can't be that it didn't go up. But it's pretty controlled. It's, it's pretty specific. It's pretty pretty targeted. I don't think that either. I mean, it's it's pretty calculated. You obviously know what you're doing. You're, you're telling her what you're doing. You're telling the viewers, in this case happens to be the police, what you're doing. It's pretty calculated. Mm. You know, there's some anger. There's some anger that comes out, but it's very controlled, very intentional, mm. callous act. You're just very comfortable doing it too, mm. which makes us concerned. Is this the only person that you've ever killed, or do we need to be looking? For other people, is your phone going to be at other places where we've found dead bodies in Anchorage since 2016? Is your Google going to show us there? Are we going to have any other evidence at any other hotels that this has happened? Or is this the only time that you've carried this out to this bar? And that's why you didn't know what to do the next day. And that's why she stayed in your truck for two days, even though she was dripping out. And that's why he only took her to mile 108 and a half, because you freaked out. Well, I did, I was panicking. So the answer to that, do we, is, is this, do we need to be investigating you for a serial killer, for other types no. of people? Okay, so, yeah, so that's right. But, you know, or is this the only time that this is something like this has happened and, and this is an isolated incident that, that happened. I've, 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 I have never done anything else. Okay. That this could be. Uh, thank you. I've, okay. Uh, I've, I'm sort of convinced I've done this. Obviously, you, 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 I have, uh, but no, I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever, but I don't think, but I've. So, so an explanation for this would probably explain to us that this, that's never happened before. If, if, if you told us what happened here and why, we might be able to glean into that it hasn't happened before. But at this point, the way this went down and everything else that we have, we seem, we have to, it seems like we have to look at you at, for other possible stuff. And unless we have an explanation as to why this one time incident happened and it didn't happen to these people the days before, and then this happened. No, I've talked. Uh, let's put it this way I've, I've never found anyone else in any of my vehicles, put it that way. Um, I no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I haven't done anything. Put it that way. So, so you've never done anything else. This weekend was this was this was an isolated incident where you went on this. Yeah, like, like, yeah. This would be isolated because it was four at least in one weekend or several days. Well, one night. Well, these aren't all in one night. Two different hotels. <laughs> well, the, 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 this this event, yeah. This was the only one at that hotel. Is this the only girl you had at the, at the Midtown Marriott? No, I had a shorty as well. It a so, you had, so you had two girls at that hotel over the two days you were there. Well, the, 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 you had this girl here. Yeah, so, so and you had, this one and yeah. Okay, so yeah, this yeah this one and the short haired girl. Yeah, at that hotel. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about so, this one. The first night there, I didn't go out. The second night. Which is apparently when this happened. When this happened, this happened 
the second round. Let's put it that way. This happened on the fourth. Yeah. That short haired girl I picked up on the fourth and the morning of the fifth, I dropped her off at work. And did you say her hair was colored or something? Oh, yes, it was color in it. What color? I don't. I don't remember. But it was not black or brown, it was some color. I'm sure there was color. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure she had color in her hair. I don't remember too well. I was, I was drunk. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm even thinking now, was she just shaved and was long? But you, 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 you're obviously going to go there tomorrow and go look at the people there. And so you'll see. You'll, you'll find her. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't so, remember her name, but this girl that doesn't have shaved sides or colored hair, that has dark hair. This girl was the same night you had the short hair girl or a different night? Well, that's what I'm thinking now. Is that the same girl? I mean, this is this is going to be time and date stamped also. Now, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't remember specifically that photo. You you do know I'm going to have a taking photo, so I'm not from the yeah. line taking. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I just, I can't remember. Who. It's probably this girl. I mean, we see, you can see you like taking photos of yeah. the people that you were with. And in this case, what what you did, yeah. But so many photos. I mean, usually I'll just take one or two, take a little video, you know. But this, yeah, this was a this is a, this is a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is like happening. And I do not have a YouTube channel where mm -hmm. I post snuff videos. I do not have anything like that. Okay. Well, I don't think they allow that on YouTube. Yeah. Like well, well, they, 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 we're going to find it if you posted anything. We're going to know. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't have that kind of thing where I post videos of, of, of things. Um, the videos of Alicia and myself, I've got on a um, an adult website. Mm -hmm. So, but that's me and her, and she knows about them. And uh, that's that's it. What's the website? Oh, it's called Euro Profile. And it's called Euro, like Euro, like E R O E R O Profile. Oh, wow. Yeah. Die. Com. <laughs> um, What's your member name? <laughs> oh, it's over eighteen. Over eighteen. Yeah. It's your, yeah. It's my, my, my. I can. Uh, if if you just as a warning, if you want to go there, put on your antiviruses and your anti pop ups and stuff because that's how they make their monies. Putting viruses and stuff on your computer. Right. So, so just videos of you and Alicia on there. Oh, no, I find that account, so we're not going to see any, any of these videos. Um, we've already seen these videos, and we don't oh. see anything else like that on there. Cool. One of the girls I picked up some other time, I've, I've got a little video of her as well. Do people follow that website? Like, do they follow specifically your oh, over 18 the, 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 this, this Europe profile is a, it's just a community of people that are. Um, open sexually, okay. you know you. So you and your your wife or swingers or whatever you post photos and everybody can see it. Yeah. So and and, and you you make friends with people. I've got a group of friends on there. Okay. Um, Are we going to find any of these videos on there? No, no, no. They, they, they don't allow uh, bestiality oh, or anything funny like that. No. Slightly so modern, is it? Yeah. So that's why. I, I, why would I video it? I don't understand why I would video something stupid like this and talk about your balls and to talk about things. Like that. I don't know why I would do that. Well, you're, and you're talking to an audience, obviously. And my experience is when somebody's doing that, this is this is something that you do. You ever look back at these? This is the first time you've taken photos. So do you ever look back at these girls and get excited? Do, do you masturbate to any of this kind of stuff? Well, th this one, she had a very very pretty little butthole. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I wouldn't masturbate to that, but I'd look at that and think of it, and then go to your profile and find some something there. You know, they have actually got a live chat on your profile, and you've got people sitting chatting, all all different types of people chatting and talking. Um, but the, nothing they don't allow even bad language. Yeah. But, you're, but in this, you're clearly making this for an audience, and it could just be yourself eventually in the future. But it sounds that, like you're making it to an audience. Yeah, you're, you're narrating it. Yeah, it could be that. I'm
so that you can view it and see what you've done and get excited or whatever purpose you might have with that. And you wouldn't be the only one that's ever done something like that. I know with the previous girl, the one that's on your profile, the reason why I filmed that is I was quite drunk and I wanted to remember because the next day you wake up and you've forgotten, you know, so it was like what she looked like or what yeah, she looked like, yeah. So, um, and that's probably why I've started recording those girls, just so I can remember them, depending how drunk I am. We've been in here well. Would you like a sandwich or a soda or no. chips or anything like no, that? The way I'm feeling now. No, I'm not angry. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I just want to make sure we've been sitting here it's for a while. I understand that. I mean, it's not, it, it's, honestly, it sounds like you're working through it or you're thinking through it in your own mind on the best way to. I'm convinced. It. I'm convinced. I've, I've done something now. I'm convinced I've done this. So now what we need is the, if, even if there's not a, a reasonable why, the thought process of, you know, what, what, would, you, what you would be thinking of and how it got to the point where, because clearly you didn't plan on having a dead body after this event because you wouldn't have held her in your car for two days. You would have had a plan for that. Right. So, you yeah. know, right. I mean, so if you're going to if you're going to intentionally go get somebody, you're going to pick them up, you're going to take them to a room so that you can kill them. You would have had a my yeah. experience tells me you would have had a plan after that. And it's clear you didn't have a plan. So that tells me that when you entered this room, when you first got there, that the, your, your plan wasn't for this to happen, that it happened for whatever reason. And it could have been alcohol induced or everything that whatever happens to you or fantasy induced or whatever and i don't think it's because you're a bad person i think it's because of whatever thought process or or fantasy or event happened with her i mean it looks to me like here she's sleeping or passed out on the bed also and yeah. so whatever whatever happened that night you didn't plan to happen otherwise you would have had, had some type of plan the next day yeah you know, i wouldn't plan so you wouldn't take her home and leave her in the back of your truck because that would be scary as hell if your wife needed to go pick something up from some friend that some piece of furniture that she just got given or something right i mean that would be terrible yeah so clearly I, you didn't have a plan i i, I, I was still myself I, if i can speak french i was yeah I was like what the hell what happens if i'm get bumped uh, there was a, a thing on the news the one day a guy was driving in town and he somebody side side bumped him and Policeman got there, opened the trunk, and there was a dead body there. You know, so that's like, what the hell? You know, that's uh, the uh, things I get for going through my mind. You know, um, that's why I knew I needed to get rid of this as quickly as possible. Yeah. Listen, I I, 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 I know I must have done this. I, I, it will be convenient for me to say yes. I was angry. Um. I, I I don't. I'm looking at these pictures. I don't have mental memories of these pictures in my head. Not even that one. No, when you do this, how does that make you feel? I I, I don't like this. Um, to be honest, much earlier on already when I heard my voice, um, and you said my voice was on the video, I said to myself, well, shit, I've done this. You know, there's, there's no denying that I've done it. And that, that I can't say I'm, I'm feeling sick from it, but I, 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 I don't like that I, I can do this. That I can I can hurt somebody like this. I don't I don't like that. Uh, I wasn't raised to be like it. Oh. So you don't. So you don't even want to tell yourself. You don't even want to admit to you. Let alone admit to us. You don't even want to admit to yourself that you did this. You think that you are. You can say, I'm not. I'm not going to remember it. I did it probably, but I'm not going to remember it. Therefore, it, in your mind, it won't be real. 
yeah, like this, you're saying having a like blocking up on my own memory. Yeah, you know, I'm probably doing that. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember the vodka. I remember the short hair. It's all I remember from that. I know I started drinking when I got back from work. Got myself some stuff there. And, but I would have eaten, so that wouldn't have done that. Uh, at work, we uh, sometimes guests will leave booze in the rooms and stuff. So I often come on six pack two. So, um, but if you were so drunk that you can't remember this, then now you, I remember you drove. Thing. You took her out to your truck, right? And put her in your truck and drove. Yeah. But you could drive a car, but you could, but you can't remember. Yeah. It would seem like if you were so drunk you couldn't remember things, then that I wouldn't be able to drive. Yeah. And looking at the maps of your phone, you were able to get around town, no problem. Yeah. And yet. You are talking about risky behavior, like you don't want to get caught with an open container. You're driving around town with a dead person in the back of your truck. Exactly. That, that's what. I'm, that's what doesn't make sense to me. Because you freaked out. You didn't think it was going to get to know what to do. But then why would I go pick up the short haired girl? Was that before or after this? What does the timeline say? No, it can't be. The, I took the girl back to work in the morning. Not unless she was in the hotel room at the same time this girl was. Did you ever have two women in there? No. Uh, no? I've never been that lucky. Alicia and I have spoke about a threesome. She's often said, you know, we should do a threesome. Um, on this night. No, 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 Alicia left. No, no, I'm saying on this night you didn't have two women in your No, 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 no. You're going to let me know if you need to take a leak or something, right? Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, I'm fine, thank you. Do you want to take a break? No, you need to do your job. You need to find out. Um, you want to take a, you want to take a break and think about things a little break. bit? Take a sip of water. Maybe five minutes. What do you think? We can take a break if you want, but yeah, we go. We can have a break if you want. Uh, just maybe to let you, I mean, we've been doing a lot of talking, you've been doing a lot of talking, a lot of stuff's being processed. Maybe just give you some time to process it without us chirping at you and think about think about the reality of of what's happening. I, 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 I know the reality of this. This is, uh, this is, uh, is um, the, the, this will kill my mother if she finds out about this. And the way you, this is going to be in the news, obviously, no matter what I say, it will be in the news, you know? That's right. And, and um, so what we're trying to do is give you the responsibility of saying what happened mm -hmm. rather than us speculating or trying to surmise based on everything that we have here as what happened. You get to write your own, get to tell what happened. I don't know why. Most people want that. Most, but most people want that opportunity. The thing is that I want to lie. We don't want yeah, to. We don't yeah. want to do either. We don't, what if I tell you oh, it was a fantasy that went out of control and then we want you to tell us that. Because the thing is, if I, if I lie, then I do remember that something and then now you've got two conflicting stories, two conflicting... Um, mm -hmm. We don't. We definitely don't want that. We don't want you to make something up. We don't want you to take one of, one of the theories or the themes or options that, that, that we gave you. But at that point, this is what we're doing. So as investigators, all we can do, because we're not in your mind and because we weren't, weren't there, is we know what happened. We just don't know why it happened, all right? We can we can speculate that, that you didn't plan it because honestly, it wasn't very thought out because you dumped a body close to town. You carried it around in your in your vehicle for two days. Yeah. Uh, you took video and photos of it, and you let the SD card get out of your control. Yeah. Which I don't know. If the town lines don't match. 
The stuff going up the truck would have been different to this. Mm -hmm. So, did anything ever happen with any other ladies in the truck? Any other incidents that stand out to you about the SD card or? Several anybody in your truck that stole anything out of your truck? One thing I can tell you is that I've often my phone's lying there, my wallet's lying there, and no one's ever touched anything. So that's something I, I, I have learned very quickly in America. Nobody wants to steal a cell phone. That SD card you showed you? Yeah. You, you're familiar with that type of card? Yeah. Well, would that card fit into your, the current phone that you have? I don't think my phone takes SD cards. I think the, the note, I think this one's got built in memory. Maybe we can have a look. You can ask the doctor. How about the, how about the one that was stolen out of your truck? Was the, would that SD card go on that, your spare phone, the Android? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the, 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 well, the, the older ones do because they didn't have enough internal memory, mm -hmm. so they would have taken SD cards. Yeah. And I'm not for, but if I was Android, so I, that's why I'm asking. Okay. Okay. But if I was selling that, I would take out any cards. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, because the, the card alone is like twenty bucks, and you're selling the phone for twenty bucks, so you know. Are you wasting your time? Like you're not, you're not wasting your time. It's what we do. So I think we should take a break a little bit so that we can take a breather. You can. Relax if you minute. If you want us to run you the bathrooms only a couple hours down, we can have you um, taken down there. Are you sure you don't want a Mountain Dew, a soda, a sandwich, no. chips, crackers, um, anything? Um, um, I'm right. not feeling good. Let's take it. Yeah. Sure. I mean, if there's food close, we can get it. to sleep and woken up the next day okay. and I can't remember going up and peeing. I usually if I've had a lot to drink I will wake up and pee. So I've had that well I don't but I mean uh, I don't remember any other time that I could have drank and blacked out and woken up the next day and there's something funny going on. Okay. Do you take any medications? No. I try not to any kind of drugs, illicit drugs. No. Any I've, I've, drugs. And now, like, I'm not the drug cut, but I don't care. You can no, 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 I, 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 you, you can ask all my friends that I hate drugs. So let's go back to the day, because we have the records when you rented the room on September 2nd. The day you rented the room, what time did you go to the hotel and check to get down? I did off the work. After work, what time did you have? That day, I would have finished work at about half past four. I sometimes stay until about five. Okay. If there's anything wrong that needs to be fixed. Um, I probably would have gone to get some booze if I hadn't gotten from work, like I told you sometimes I get. So I, I can't even remember when I, when I do and when I don't get some booze from work. Um, the cleaning ladies actually know me. Like, hey, if you're going to give, give it to Brian, because then if they've got a problem in the room, I'll fix it for them. You know, so uh, it's, it's a symbiotic relationship there. Um, I probably would have gone and bought booze and some food. Okay. Uh, and then gone to the hotel room. Okay. Well, after we got work, check into the room, might have got some booze, went to the room. What did you do next? Kind of, I'm just trying to get a timeline of everything you did that night on the second. Oh, wait. There's another girl. This is getting bad. <laughs> I met a girl, I can't remember what night, when um, I was coming from somewhere and she was on the side of the road. So I said, hey, 
are you okay? And she said she's going to the hospital, and I took her to the hospital. And then that weekend, um, I still said to her, hey, if you ever want a drink, give me a call, you know? And she came around to visit me. I went and picked her up after work on the first day. Well, I, oh, actually, I can't remember the first or second day at the hotel. Sorry. Um, and she came around there and she said she's, she, her curfew was like six o'clock or whatever, but she's got to go back because she, she's in one of those halfway houses. And uh, we sat and had a couple of whiskeys uh, and then I have to go back. And uh, I'd actually dropped her off with her, her boyfriend somewhere, you know, you know where. Um, uh, it, it was close to the graveyard, okay. the, the, the one downtown. Okay. Uh, we were past there, going down, um, also closer to that, where the number shot is, that side of like between fourth and fifth. Uh, there's one of those uh, halfway houses there, and that's where she, she, she said, well, that's where we're going. And then she got a phone call and said, oh, no, the boyfriend's here. So she said, well, just drop me off here. Okay. But there was nothing, there was no nothing between us. We were just drinking buddies. Okay. Uh, that, 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 the first night we, we, we met her, there was, we were just drinking buddies, you know. And this was on the second, after you'd already checked in the room. Well, that's, I don't remember if it was the the, the first night at the, the Marriott or the second night. Okay. I, can't, I can't remember which one it was, but... Yeah, so yes, uh, there was another girl. Okay, sorry, yeah. You know, sorry, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I didn't think of her in any sexual way. We were just, like I said, there was drinking buddies. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, I still gave her some wine that I bought that was a nice sweet wine. We still, I still said to her, next time I get this wine, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then she, she phoned again and, oh no, who and I? The first night ended up in Palmer. We actually went out to Palmer because there was no, we, we couldn't find booze yet. Okay. So th this would have been the first night. Sorry, this would have been the first night. First night at the Marriott, the night, night you were staying there. Okay. Do you remember her name? No. No. No, sorry. No. We, we went to Palmer before. This was a, this was a previous time. Not this. Yeah, week. but... but, but she did come to me that first night because uh, um, either she got hold of me or I got hold of her and said, "Hey, uh, you got to come around for a drink, you know, after work." And then I went to pick her. But yeah, yeah, sorry, we, 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 the, I met her like some time before that. Okay, yeah, so I, 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 I that didn't night. meet her on that night. But yeah, to the married, I took this other girl, and she had the coloured hair. She had colour in her hair. Yeah. So that night you guys reconnected, the first night you were in the Marriott. Yeah, but I took her home. Well, I just, she said her curfew was like 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. It was like early. So check in time. So she yeah, then she has to check in for her at 6 or 7. Well, I dropped her with a, a water bottle. Where'd you go from there? I would have come back to the hotel room then. I'm assuming I would have. I, 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 I don't remember. This is a lot of stuff. So the next anyway, day, Marty, anything else happened that night, that night at the hotel? No. Well, what, 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 what I wanted to say was, I was drinking a lot. I'm not hiding behind alcohol, but um, I was away from home. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to drink. My wife complains when I drink at home, so I actually have to sneak drinks at home. Um, and she catches me all the time. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so, so when I'm alone, but tonight, if you hadn't stopped me, I was going to get a bottle of Jack and go just sit in front of the TV with a cat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we had a cat. Um, you say you got people there. Did they um, not take the cat? But are there still people at, at the house? We'll, we'll get that figured out. Okay. We're not going to leave an animal in danger. Yeah. Just cool. do, do, there's food there for you. Okay. That's uh, yeah. So back to the Marriott. The yeah. night, that night. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, you dropped her off. You went back to the hotel. You said. Yeah. So I don't think I went out again that night. Okay. I, I, I'm I'm happy just me in a bottle, just sitting there watching TV. You know. So you stayed in that night. Yes. I the next day you wake up. What do you do when you wake up? Well, I would have gone to work. Went to work. Yeah. Okay. And then after work, I would have come back 
maybe bought some of these and then when I was drunk enough to you know when you when you're sober you don't you don't want to go pick up a girl, you know, it's you're gonna get AIDS and all that nonsense. So it would have been late when I would have been drunk enough to think okay. about things like that. So then where'd you go when you went out? I I I, I don't remember the I don't remember being that thing about drive, but I, I would probably have gone probably to the safe way to go get some food there. Um, when you say the safe way, you're talking about oh, yeah. cars and camel? Yeah, 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 yeah sorry, cars, yeah, cars. Yeah. So you, some people call them cars, some call them safe way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you went to cars. But I, I, cars. I probably went, yeah, I, 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 I don't remember. Exactly. We're just asking what you remember, not yeah. probably. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you don't have to guess yeah. what you might have done. Since we wanted, we're trying to figure out what do you remember last. Yeah, yeah. What's the last thing you remember? Okay, if you, well, in that way, um, I don't remember. So you got off work and you don't remember what you did after that? Is I would have. You probably or you would have. What did you okay. do? After work, the first thing I, I want to do after work is get my work clothes off. Because at, at work, when I was at the old, old place, uh, I used to clean drains and toilets and stuff like that. And 90% of the guests at the University Lake are actually um, uh, from the, 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 the native hospital. So these people are coming here, they've got diseases and stuff. So I'm covered with germs. So I know for a fact the first thing I do when I get home is get my, my clothes off. So I would have gone back to the hotel room and put clean clothes on. So, so we can say definitely I did that. I, I can't remember if I had food that I didn't have to go out or if I already had alcohol that I didn't have to go out. I can't remember. If I, if I, if I tell you, I'd be lying to you. What's the last thing you remember that name? Well, a year ago, I don't even remember going home putting clothes on, but I would have done that. Yes, but, but it's, it's, it was not a such a, a spectacular thing. I, I mean, can you remember what you did ten days ago exactly on on a specific day? You know, it's it's it was just a normal day to me. So, then what's the very first thing you remember next? Well, now with everything through my mind, the very next thing I remember was talking to the short haired girl and saying. You want to go for a drink and she said she would have said everything was would be closed because it's so late but she knows where to get vodka i'm going to stop you yeah. i mean like we told you this you know this marriott is covered with cameras they got yeah. cameras right there. so it's reasonable to say that you you were not seen on those cameras with a short hair girl so where the short hair girl does not exist that did not happen we know that we know that you were never with a short hair girl that night yeah, so I mean, we know that she doesn't exist. I'm sure she, I'm sure she was shame. I'm sure that he was short like it on the side. On the side. Well, I, I remember that. Uh, um, I don't remember this girl. Uh, I, I know she had shorty hair. I know she was butch. She looked lesbian. What you just when you described her, and it's possible that maybe her hair was up and up or something. But you're describing her body type and her height and her, her the way her body shaped. You're describing her to a T. There's no short hair girl. This is this was the girl you were with that night, and the then and the video shows that. And you took a picture of. You took a picture of her. Yeah. Yeah. That's me in a photo with. On your phone. Looks like it on my phone. Yeah. Um. I went, I dropped somebody off at the homeless shelter that I told you. I dropped somebody off in the morning. Dropped somebody off in the morning. And it was a girl, and she still said to me she doesn't like guys that much. She usually goes out with, it, with girls. That's what she said to me. Is it possible that you've picked up so many girls over the last month that maybe you're mixing up your is that a is that a possibility that you're mixing up that 
for another time. Because like I said, we know for a fact she was there and you were there and we know there was no short hair girl. Does it show me leaving in the morning? Oh, I mean, the cameras are going to show what the cameras see. You show yourself leaving. Yeah, I'll get that picture of the, right before you put her in the back of your truck and your truck's in the parking lot. But that's dog. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be leaving the hotel with the dog. Because I, I would go to work at 8 o'clock only. So... What time did you notice the body in here? You said it was lunchtime. You went out to look, take, eat lunch or take lunch or something. Um, we don't take specific lunches. When there's a gap and nothing's happening, I'll go and sit in my, my truck and I'll eat, have a sandwich or bite or something. I'll get down a sip of Coke and then go back and work again. And when there's another gap, I'll go sit. So I'll have like five lunches a day. You know, if, right. if, if, if we if we took but back then I was still uh, on um, hourly wage, so if you actually take your half an hour lunch, then you've got to clock out. But if you take a five minute lunch, a five minute break, you don't clock out. So I, I could get off an hour at the time, yeah. and then they knew we did it, um, and um, but basically you could get away with it because. Um, Emergencies don't wait for you to have a lunch break and then and things happen after lunch. So I know this doesn't mean anything, but I'm sorry I'm putting you through this. No, you don't have to be sorry. This is what we do. Yeah, we're going to be sitting at dealing with real criminals. I'm going to figure out how to way, uh, how to do it, but I'm gonna, we're going to go over the. Okay. Um, so I don't see it. Uh, I mean, looking at the time, Judge, this is perfect. Is this a good place to start? Yes. Okay, folks, we'll break for the day. I do want to remind you of something that I uh, told you I was going to keep reminding you of, and that is that we've seen a lot of evidence, but you haven't seen all the evidence. And at the beginning, we all made commitments to not make up our minds until we've seen all the evidence and heard the arguments of counsel. I just wanted, and the instructions from the court, and I wanted to remind you of that obligation and that promise. We'll see you back here at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Seated, please. Are there issues we need to take up, counsel? Just one, Judge. There was one um, spot on the transcript on page 211 that we had previously agreed would be stricken. It's halfway through. It's lines 10 through 16. It's where the detectives are telling him, look, we have you on camera at the Marriott um, via email defense withdrew that objection and asked me to put that back in. It was in the video. We like we did reinsert it back in the video, but I blocked it out here on the transcript. So there is a discrepancy between the transcript and the video. I just wanted to highlight that for your honor. I didn't so want lines to 10 through 16 were not supposed to be redacted. They were not. Well, when we were originally on record, they were, but there was an agreement of the parties right. to not redact them. Um, so they weren't in the video. They are redacted out of the transcript. I just wanted to bring that discrepancy and error to, to the court's attention. 
And, and that's accurate. I had emailed uh, it's a couple weeks ago now, um, Saturday morning. There were two places that we had decided to redact that I had lifted my objection. One was the surveillance footage from the Marriott. The other was in regard to the way station footage um, where they told them, you know, we, we looked at the security, cam we looked at the cameras at the way station and we saw your truck there. Um, I had lifted my objections to that. I did want to put that on record since without that, the record would show that we'd agreed to redact them and they weren't redacted. That was not a mistake. Um, council did put that back in when I lifted my objection. So do you want a, any remedy? Are you asking for anything to be done vis-a-vis -vis the transcript? No, Judge. Okay, thank we, you. We agreed that the video is the evidence. So. We did, and that's what they'll be reviewing if they need to during deliberations, okay. Okay, and then I, I just wanted to make one more record about the juror. I don't know if we should approach for that. You don't, you don't need to approach at this point, unless it's, unless it's highly personal or something. No, I, I think we should have. Okay, come on forward. 